And I'm gonna lower this down. And I'm gonna unmute. And we're gonna get started with episode two of Sunforged. Gee, Hello. Like, I know I'm Me too. Hello. 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 Hey. How's oh it God. going, wonderful <laughs> folks? Great. So good. Great. How are you? Good. Welcome good. back for episode two of our show, Sunforge. You said it kind of like a question. You were like, welcome back. Welcome back. <laughs> maybe you maybe don't welcome? want to be here. Are we? You know, yeah. Maybe yeah. you're not are welcome. We welcome. I don't no. know yet. We'll see. You um, don't know yet? I, I haven't decided. You're the only one with this power, Joe. Yeah, yeah, I know, and I'm indecisive, man, okay? Uh, I don't <laughs> go out to eat places audition. because I'm still deciding. Uh, yeah, well, uh, uh, you know, you've made it through to phase two, uh, uh, or, you know, episode two of this audition. Congratulations, you made it to the second interview. You know <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> um, so, me. before we do get started with the episode, um, uh, just have to do a little disclaimer that... There will be, in these first few episodes, a lot of horror themes and a lot of body horror. So if that stuff freaks you out, then please avert your ears during said descriptions. Um, it will it will come in. Uh, there's a lot of eldritch creepy stuff here. So uh, just be prepared for that uh, existing, cool. I should say. But to the rest of the party, uh, sorry. Um, mm -hmm. Okay. So. Yeah, whoops. <laughs> Nothing we can do about it over here. Before we do get started, has anyone got anything they want to shout out, or shall we begin the episode? We need to all say our character heights. Okay, yeah, character heights. Yep. <laughs> do we? That... Yes, yeah, so fan sure, artists sure, sure. can get it. You oh, know, mm, yeah, right. reference. Sure. Yeah. All right. He was very worried because Shane last episode said she was huge. Yeah. He called and she was in the group that she's tiny. like, just to clarify, he said the big two. one. I'm tiny. I'm actually. I felt really short targeted. Queen, so so, so Shane called so, my character the big what one. If I'm like and... three feet tall. Huh? <laughs> let's oh, start. Yeah, let's go don't... around from Indrasa. How tall are you, Indrasa? Damn it. <laughs> just, uh, she's five. Well, you've ten. definitely thought about it. Yeah. yeah. It's true. I have. I put the most. <laughs> Thought into height out of all. We have a whole spreadsheet to think yeah. that you hadn't thought out every possible. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, specifically well, after being a called like, on the yeah. Yeah, you know, yeah. You, know, you, know you know the eye color and... of your great grandfather. Um, so five ten. Okay, uh, <laughs> yeah. a five ten elf, uh, Shade of Kai. Desmond, how tall is Desmond? Oh boy, I didn't. It's think your this chance part. now. You can make anything See? up. Yeah. It's, but, but bear in mind, every Do anything you decide here, you're stuck with. Yeah, yeah, shame. <laughs> oh, do, you, is... do you want me to come back to you so you can hear other people's heights so you can be like, oh, I don't want to be yeah, smaller no, than them, but taller than them. No, yeah, yeah, you yeah. want to put the pressure on? Do the trenches. <laughs> you don't get to decide how just tall or short you're going to be. That's a good so point. Fast. No, that's a good sure. point. You don't, I was yeah. manufactured. Based off of himself. That's also a good point. He was manufactured. <laughs> this, Maybe he had that in his story. I could change my height. That's what true. if you got oh, put yeah. into something shorter and you were like, nope, yeah. don't like me. You, you to change his height, what does it matter? Are you, um, are stone, you like as tall as a bespoke were. model or are you like from a, a line? The classic, yeah. Well, that's a I question you're going to have to ask in, in game. Yeah. We're already off the I'm not asking that in game. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> that's a question you'll never <laughs> find the answer six to. Six feet, one inches. <laughs> there you go, six one. I forced that. Okay, six one, six one. Okay, good height, good height. V. Five foot two. Five foot Maybe two. Good height. Good height. Well, good height. Why not five foot? Why good five height, two? Why you gotta get on my case? I'm just saying five two is kind of a. Wait, you sorry. True. Question. Wait, it's like I have you're a question scared of being Bree. too small, so you went five two. I don't are be you so short? You know. Are you five like, two somewhere? My poor. At your head or like five two with the antenna? Head. The mm. antenna takes her higher. Okay. Okay. okay yeah, 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 yeah. 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 But sure, so her antenna high. normally are she's, quite. Her character so short that she's actually taller. wielding a scimitar, not a great sword. Uh, it just looks <laughs> yes. much bigger. Carlo, how yeah. big is Carlo? Five eleven. Five eleven. That's a, yeah, nice. That was such a quick answer. Always oh, achieving. No. Yeah. More game. Prepared. Oh, oh that's sake. me. Uh, what did I say? <laughs> Not... You get used to that. You'll get used you to see, that. I, sure. I had my prepared because oh, I also did what Sam's now doing. I feel like I you said like five eight. Yeah, I think we <laughs> we all randomly typed five, it seven, in. Five, the player, yeah, the five, player seven, formerly seven, known as Skull. I was like, whatever, that's fine. Just grabbed it again. <laughs> yeah, I feel uh, like it was five eight. Control F height. 
<laughs> look up tall. Look up tall. You won't find okay, him height. Tall. Uh, yeah, tall. no one said height. Okay, look That's up true. tall. How tall is everyone's characters? That was Bree. Uh, yeah, jump, jump to Important. that. Uh, five seven. Yeah, sure. Five, seven. Hey, there we go. Okay. And Zonia. Um, I think in the group chat I said six three or six oh my four. God. Um, Mommy. she's, she's, she's part yeah. Goliath. Mommy. Mm -hmm. Mommy. So. I'm part Goliath IRL. <laughs> That's true. That's true. <laughs> but only half, because they don't really grow hair. Um, oh. Oh. So, with everyone's heights in check now. Uh, <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, everyone. That was really it's important. Good. You're welcome, can we start Thank every? You. Can we start every session with like a, a fact? Group, a fact. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That sounds good for the first ten episodes, but then you realize when you get to episode eighty-three and you're asking like. That's when it's gonna be really fun at every. <laughs> yeah, I, I was don't. gonna say that's when it's gonna be like Dungeons and Daddies style, where yeah. everyone's yeah, just yeah, pulling yeah. out unhinged yeah. shit. Like I don't know. Exactly. Yeah, I want to see that. Yeah. yeah. Next session, we'll reveal our IRL heights in comparison to our characters. <laughs> no. I just, I picked my height. Do doctor, why not? <laughs> <laughs> <It's my height. laughs> then you won't forget it. How could you do this? <laughs> so. Doctor's the perfect height for hugging. I'll just say that. Aww. Aww. That was really wholesome. Yeah. I, I never expect wholesome things from you. I was expecting something cursed to come out there. Just Only when it comes weekend. to well, she's gonna dodge her. Everyone else, fuck yeah. you. Oh, Aww. <laughs> Well, uh, I accept it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, Let's wind into tonight's episode. <laughs> so. Rumor has it that everything at the festival of the last warm days collapsed. Something went so hastily wrong. The House of Lepos, rulers of Crownheart Hall, called together a dance and a feast to celebrate the final day of summer. From across the continent, they invited lords and ladies befitting their station, which isn't to say the greatest of houses, but at least those adjacent to them. Among those that travelled were all of you, each one of you at the party for your own reason, hunting, boasting, accompanying, marrying, politicking. All was well during the dance. It was the, it was the meal where things went awry. After gifts were presented, one being a statue of an ank egg, a cackling woman interrupted the illusion show, stepped into the center of the room, and unpetrified the statue of the ank egg. Servant disguised assassins struck out at nobles around the room, and as the statue came to life, it loomed down over an elven servant that stood below it bit down, crushing it in its mandibles, but instead of blood, only ash dropped to the ground. And the atmosphere around you all changed. Outside of the tinted windows, day became dusk. And from the ceiling dropped onto the ank egg, a bony, tall humanoid creature with jutting arms and legs that look almost stretched outright. Its spiral teeth come down as its arms break open the ankh and start drinking the flesh from it. And as the ankh drops squealing, it collapses down, knives being brandished across the room, stabbing nobles. And this creature, or oh, its feast, has just begun. And all of you are in that room. So, for the first time in this campaign, I'm going to move you on to the battle map. Okay. And we. Kermbert. If I can remember oh, where the initiative thing, thing is. Horrid. Yes, oh, it does. Like a scroll. Very oh, no. unpleasant. Joe, this Ooh. is giving me uh, BG3 flashbacks. <laughs> to that oh my god. Room. <laughs> you are not lying. There's so many people in here. Holy shit. And I'm going to ask you all fine. if you can please, for the first time in our campaign, Roll initiative. Wait, we should put ourselves on the map, though. Are we on the Do map? You are on the map. Okay, yeah, okay, you're okay, going to find okay, yourself. Okay, okay. If you ask cool. where you are, where we are. I'm putting okay, you, okay, I okay, put yeah, you basically where you said you were at the end of last episode. Uh, we, need, for, we need control, though, so we yeah, can roll we're, initiative. We're in the shit right now. Oh, uh, go ahead and just drag your characters this onto where you are and, delete, and I'll delete the old one. Just drag it next to it and I'll delete the old one. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Um, okay. Wait, I already had control of mine. I had control of mine. Same. Oh. Oh. 
I also have control of mine. That wasn't cool Sam enough. Problem. Sorry, Sam. Yeah. Um, Skill issue. And also, just to say, this this map, I didn't make this map. It's too good for me. This is made by uh, Two Minute Tabletop. Just a shout out to them because it is a beautiful map that I purchased. <laughs> it's a really nice map. It's a really it cool map. Really yeah. It's very cool. Uh, okay. Um, so, uh, some little Nothing things to uh, understand in this fight as well. Uh, there is a lot of allies. Uh, in this room or i say allies in quotations you know there's people who want to live uh and there's also <laughs> uh assassins okay. around the room i'm just opening up all of these tabs uh there'll be a lot of creatures that are controlled you don't necessarily know who is who you can huh? use a bonus action or an action to do a perception check or an insight check um to try mm. and guess someone if you like appear over towards them uh if you did not meet them at the party. If you met them at the party, I'm going to allow you to have that basically uh, uh, solved without a check, right? So if you're like, oh, uh, which one is this one? And I'm like, oh, that's Uradot. Uh, then then that'd be solved. But if you didn't meet them at the party, uh, you wouldn't know. And so you basically sure. go pick your targets sure. um, and look for knives in the dark. Uh, this is a dangerous encounter. Let me roll all of their initiatives and then we will get started. Uh, yeah. Trying to find all of you. Mm. There you go. <laughs> oh, uh, Bree, remember, oh, you're right you guys now, are in the shit. Rapier, technically, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, weapon. oh, yes. Yeah, okay, that was the that was the bone saw. Right. Okay. Oh, we don't have our weapons. Oh, no, you do not. Okay. <laughs> oh my God. Does okay. anyone remember? I mean, you, do you have one? So that's good. At least. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I'm fine. Does anyone remember how to hide everyone's icons so I can see more of the map? In the bottom. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. yeah. It's in, under video oh. settings, audio yeah. and video, go to video mm -hmm. display tab, and you can go to names uh, only. Okay. <clears throat> well, uh, okay. The they, they, yeah, yeah, they right? moved it. It's not in like display or personalization. There we go. Thanks, man. Okay. Uh, also, all of the NPCs have been simplified. Uh, though some of them might be stronger usually, they've been simplified for this mechanic, so. Uh, you so they're not going to be representative of what they would be like if we got into a fight with them in like another fucking... A little bit. There'll be like elements of them. Um, okay. View them like indecisive instead of making uh, 56 mm -hmm. uh, character sheets. I've kind of simplified it down. And then finally, the last thing to put onto Amazing. the initiative order. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> Can't yeah, believe it. I think you should have... Sheets, dude. <laughs> uh, <laughs> the assassins. <laughs> Okay, and then finally, that's on the board. Okay. So, it should have everything on the board now, which should be good. So, uh, up first is actually uh, the series of allies. However, in this first round, uh, they are considered surprised. Uh, as there were some attacks struck before the end of last episode, some knives were brandished and some stabs went out. I'm going to now roll a few attacks and add them to the people. Oh, god damn it. I forgot to turn off that damn thing, which makes it always roll uh, at advantage. Uh, this is good. We might get rid of a bunch of people real quick right yeah, now. Yeah, first yeah. one's just me. I'm just gonna do the first roll of each one. Uh, <gasps> get rid of a bunch of people. Uh, <laughs> double check the sheets. <clears throat> that shit is harsh. Okay. Uh, Arista has taken um, six points. No, wait. I didn't even roll the damage. Five points of piercing damage. Okay. And then a few more knives go out. Uh, Wait, all the new tools are so cool. Right? Yes, there's some very yeah, nice like tools. Yeah, like AOE thing. It looks really cool. Uh, Uridot has taken four points of damage. Uh, this lady no. down here has taken four <laughs> points of damage. Uh, With... My proximity to Uridot, can I see, like, already who just attacked them? Is it... Yes. This person right here? Yes. Okay. You would have seen as this okay. lady stepped up behind her and just jammed a knife straight into her back. The creature's pretty close to you guys. It's just there. It's just kind of landed off of the yank egg during this round. Uh, hmm. You guys can still go during this round. Yeah, like a hero's initiative here. Uh, everyone else was kind of drinking a lot more and, and partying away. Uh, v, you're up first. Let's go. All right. So I have a rapier. Um, in relation to where we are right now, where are our weapons? <laughs> Uh, in a totally different like, room. Like, are they back downstairs? They're in like, the armory, okay. is what They're you're in a told. different building, the entrance, are they? Right? Take yeah. a while. Okay. okay. 
So that's out of the question, probably. Um, okay. I guess I'm just gonna make do with a rapier. A rapier is one d8, correct? One d8. You use your you dex, use though. A... Uh, it's finesse. Uh, it's finesse. Uh, oh, it's finesse. Evil. You're right. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yep. Absolutely right. Okay. Um, okay. I will say this as well, if uh, in case people don't know about this rule, because uh, it never came up once in Godforge, I don't think, outside of some enemies. Uh, there are such things as improvised weapons. Um, you can pick up items and use those. Uh, uh, okay. They have limited damages and, you know, whatnot. But if you ever need a need a weapon and a quick spill. Okay. Um, <clears throat> okay. V would uh, look to Carlisle and then Urodot, who just got attacked. Um, and she would say, I don't know how to wield this weapon. Well, you just swing it and try to hit something, I think, right now, V. Uh, <laughs> Carlisle looks like he's panicking, Robert. <laughs> Very well. And she's going to um, move forward here. Mm -hmm. And she's going to, under her breath, uh, mutter, beckoned by blood. And she's going to enter a rage. Okay. And then she will try to attack the rapier. This lady who just stabbed Erdot. So this one up here. Yep. Okay. Mm -hmm. So is it my? Sorry, you said it was saying Dex mode. No, no, it'll be your strength because no, it's been okay. Yeah, yeah. You can just do, do okay, an attack. Perfect. So twenty-seven to hit. Oh, nat, nat twenty, 20 as well. Nat twenty. Oh. Uh, that definitely hits a nat twenty. As you just drive up after just cooling in upon the blood, you just stab forward. Go ahead and roll the damage. Two D eight plus your strength. Two D eight plus my strength. Yep. Plus okay. your rage, which would be a plus two. Mm -hmm. So seven total. So five plus, seven. plus two. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. Plus seven. Okay. Oh, oops. Two D eight. Fourteen. Uh, fourteen points of damage. Uh, as you just drive the blade straight through it, you hear this like dull thud <coughs> as it coughs blood up <coughs> and just drops back dead. Oh. Kind of illusion fading over her. Okay. Uh. V stares down at the rapier and kind of holds it in her hand, like getting the feel for it, and nods at Carlisle. And I'll end my turn there. Okay. The creature that dropped down, it looks around the room. Its mouth kind of agape. It's going to turn around. You can see the way it turns its body. It, its whole body arches upwards and then bends and cracks backward. And you can see the spine almost push through the body and comes up the other side. <laughs> and its head gets and twists around and its arms twist all the way around as it moves over here towards this group. And it's going to make a multi-attack. Uh, it's going to attack the one right above her uh, with a bite to begin with, uh, which uh, hits and immediately just crunches down on this person you see the, the kind of almost like spiral blade uh, or like jawed kind of teeth go around the head and go kss, kss, and kind of crush it almost like a compactor pull away this guy drops down dead He's gonna turn I think his name was just this guy uh, <laughs> i can i can get his name i've got him all <laughs> teed up yeah uh, i want to know his name uh, it's better if we don't ever know as far as i'm concerned you would have seen him actually this is tavian winter uh he's the one that won the Baylor's award Was. he came in um oh, uh, you see him get crunched down oh. it's only going to make a claw attack against the owlin it swings its claw just kind of almost wildly to one side that's going to hit <laughs> almost slices it in two it drops down <laughs> dead and then turns towards her the bottom one below her and that 20 reaches out with one claw just pushes her arms around her kind of nails digging in you just hear like this as her body just slumps to the ground dead and it's gonna jump over here looking at the other two okay Zonya um what are, what is everybody doing up where I am panicking i assume yeah everyone's kind of like <laughs> some some people uh are, are, are um 
You can head to your side. I'll let you do a, a check if you want to see specifics. But just like in the next, you can see Onim is confused. They're looking around, not really sure what's going on. Some of them are looking around to see if it's entertainment. Those who are in the know and know it's not part of this entertainment um, are, are kind of standing up. You can see the Lord Eridus has stood up. Uh, Borm, his bodyguard's already at the ready, like got his club kind of in his hands, looking around, <laughs> snarling. And then um, a bit of the blood sprays off of, uh, this is uh, right in front of you. That's Aridus Ordo. Um, uh, so you can see the bit of blood kind of squirting off of him. Okay. Um, Zonia will stand and sort of stare, just horrified and captivated by what's going on, and then will turn to Olimar and grab his face. Olimar, I need you to listen to me. Yes, yes. You have got to hide. Where, 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 where? Anywhere, anywhere, under the table, anywhere, okay? Okay. I need you to hide. If there's a moment where you can run, run. And if there's a moment where you can climb, get out of here, you will do it. All right? Yes. Yes. <laughs> All right. Go. You shall so try to get him under the table. Yeah, starts like climbing onto the table, like confused, like pulls himself to, to hide beneath the chair. Okay. Um... Zonia will come up this way. 5, 10, 15, 20, um, 25, 30. Who is this? Do I need to make a check to find uh, who that is? No, uh, you would recognize them. Uh, that is, uh, let me just double check what I... Uh, this is uh, Arcanist Ithil. This is the Arcanist for uh, the Lord of the House, Lord Lepos. This is his kind of personal uh, sorcerer. Um, he's a spellborn. Okay. He doesn't come out of the hood. And sorry, one last question. Mm -hmm. Do I know where Laura Mill is? Um, good question. Uh, yes, you probably would know that he was seated uh, at uh, the far away table. He's all the way at the back, down the bottom right. Um, they put them basically in the lowest spot they could, so they're all the way at the end. Okay. It's um, the if you didn't see, I by the way, when I pinged it, it's there's a Goliath down there, and then there's also um, Laura Mill. Um, I will, I want to use, uh, Dissonant Whispers on Borm. Okay. Um, an actual, he would hear an actual whisper that okay. sounds like, Borm, just standing there? What a coward. And he'll just hear the word coward, coward over and over. And if he fails this check, he has to basically run away from me, yeah. which is hopefully just towards this thing. Okay. Uh... You're <laughs> all the damage, by the way. Yeah, I'm looking for it. Here it is. Nine points of damage as Borm in his head <laughs> rushes off this kind of creepy sound going through his head. Uh, he's going to use his reaction then to go uh, 5, 10, uh, 15, 20. Uh, you can see as he rushes past, this person here is going to do a dagger strike as a reaction. Uh, which misses him. Uh, by 30. Uh, he gets, he makes it down to here. Just, <laughs> as he's just kind of charging away from whatever just scared him away. Okay. Um, can I also, sorry, I forgot to say that I wanted to give a bardic inspiration to Olimar when I told him to hide. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's a bonus action. Is that okay? Yeah. Okay, that's my turn then. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, okay. Across the room, there are... Wait. Sorry, before the assassins go, I thought I had the pan arrow selected, but apparently I had the paintbrush selected, and now I've drawn a line and a I line. can't make it go away. I was trying to drag, I was like, why is it, it not be, dragging? It should it be, if you <laughs> press the paint thing, there should be a thing that says clear drawings and text. Mm. So oh, that's yeah. convenient now. That's new, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, cool. Okay, Thank you. I'm going to do some uh, attacks across the board here <gasps> from the assassins. <laughs> Uh, and then dish out some damage. Uh, okay. I roll there. Okay, I roll this nine times. Uh, as you just hear like a flurry of daggers being drawn back and stabbed. Um, the next one, uh, 
across the board. Uh, you see one guy drops down dead, falling off his chair. This man over here. Uh, as he just gets a knife driven, driven into his chest. Um, and then... This one takes three points of damage. Uh, another one drops down dead at the end of the hall. And where is the other? I'm corresponding with my key. Uh, those, are the, those are the only ones for now. Um, okay. Uh, Sam, more game. Uh, would, this, would this other guy go before me? I have terrible decks. Um, we, both, we both rolled 11. That guy shouldn't be on the board. There you go. <laughs> no. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, would I see anything looking at, uh, within no. the, within 30 feet of me? <laughs> would I see any illusions? Very good point. Um, mm. yes. Yes. You can see, uh, close to you, uh, if you were peering around, purple surrounding someone here, and purple surrounding mm. someone here. Wait, what was, who's the first one? Uh, that was the one that you said, the should guy. they go before you? You just got removed off the turn. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. That's good you're next to them, so the method doesn't kick in. Uh, yes, those two have illusions over them. Uh, okay. Um, Morgane would, uh, shove the plates, uh, away on the table mm -hmm. and trace a pentagram and reach in to the table and then produce an ornate longsword with oh, a golden shit. hilt. Why? Um, and then vault over the table and uh, bring it down in a vertical slice towards this guy. Okay. Uh, go ahead and roll attack. Fifteen. Hit. For eight damage. All right, eight points of damage. Yeah, they get sliced once. <laughs> See blood kind of score off. But like where your blade goes in, you can kind of feel that you're pushing a little further uh, and you see kind of the purple haze around this target kind of drift for a moment. For anyone else around the area, his blade kind of seemingly goes through a little further than it would be uh, through the illusion. All right. Um, okay, you're standing there with your blade drawn. Is there anything else you want to do? Oh, bo -bo 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 -bo. I think that's it. Um... Yeah, that's it for now. Okay, Carlo. Carlo was gonna look over to Uruda. Are you all right? <laughs> you can see she's like definitely bleeding pretty heavily and and very injured. Goes, I'll get by. Focus on the others. There's people you can save here. All right, hey, Carlo was looking past them. Did he just see this guy stab? This you way? definitely just saw this guy drop off the table dead, like covered in blood. So okay, it's a safe assumption. I. Carlisle's not exactly too fixated on fighting as a doctor, so I think he's going to first, I want to use uh, an action and a bonus action if I can to try to insight check other people in this crowd here. Yeah, I'll let you do to both. To see who is like started, who's like clearly an antagonist here. Okay, so, yeah. So uh, that's a 26 on my first one. Yep. Um, I'm looking past this guy to try to see if there's anyone else that's like. Uh, you see the guy over to the left who stood beno okay. uh, behind the uh, the gnome there. All right, and I'm gonna do another one for this group as well, uh, for my bonus action. You see, uh, just couldn't have stood in the aisle, right there. Okay, Carlisle's gonna look over to Desmond. Get that one there. He's gonna point out to uh, this guy. Okay. Uh, uh. <laughs> Desmond. He's not. I don't think he's even noticed the hesitation on <laughs> uh, De on Desmond and Carlisle's gonna like jump out to try to stop this guy and just like get in his way. Okay. Before he goes after someone else, and that'll be my turn. All right, Desmond. Um, he's gonna panic, sort of hesitate <laughs> uh, for oh, a no. second. Oh. Uh, looking around, he's right now. He's skeptical of everybody, especially the people right behind him and next to him. Um. And he's gonna I'll tell you hide this. under the table. The one person you recognize is this is the uh, goblin that you took the beans off of. 
Beans. You'd recognize him. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Oh, bean okay. goblin. <laughs> um, so right now he's crouched under the table. Um, he's still going to try. It's. I don't mind if it's at like disadvantage because this is an awkward angle. Yeah, because you're kind of uh, prone. To still take a shot at this guy. You'll see on his wrist, uh, something pops out and fans out, and it's his little wrist crossbow. Okay. Uh, that's integrated a part of him. And he'll just try to take a shot. At the one right next to Carlo? Yeah. Uh, it will be a disadvantage because you are prone. How weird considered. It is. Yeah, if you're, yeah, if you're ducking down and underneath the table, you're probably going to be prone by, by the kind of standard. So it'll be just a 10. Uh, a 10 misses. The bolt goes right past and kind of flings up into the rafters. Okay, and that's all that he's going to do. He's just going to duck oh. down right now, hiding. And Drasa. Okay. I have a question before I do anything. Mm-hmm. Given that Andrasa saw a an Ankeg chomp, a girl who faded into dust, everything got dark, felt wonky and weird, does she have an idea of what just happened? Yes. Okay. All right. Um, okay. Roll an Arcana check. <sighs> sure. I'll give you this one for free. It's just kind of like a passing. It's almost like a perception yeah, yeah. check. Uh... 21. You know what happened, but you know that the means of it is unusual. Okay. Oh, wait, can I use my... Oh, no, it just gives me extra, right? The sage thing of, like... Yeah. Yeah. That, I yeah, mean, yeah. that information okay. you just got there is yeah, yeah, yeah. just me confirming that okay. it is what you expect. Got it. I should say. Okay. So, um, the first thing that happens is Andrasa uh, thinks... Cestina eyes and as she thinks that if you were looking at her which you're not because shit's going off it looks like her mask just becomes liquid and shoots up into the air um and my familiar is going to uh are these columns right along the these ones, center yeah. it looks like maybe yeah. yeah okay so what i would like Cestina to do is to go 60 feet as far as she can um into the shadows okay on one of the columns you can control it by the way and yeah so she'll do that and she is going to oh no i can't move oh no wait maybe i can hold on Again, you've got the roller selected yeah there we go um uh, blah, 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 blah. so she'll go as high up as she can go on this one right this is one here 15 20 25 to get there, and then, yeah, and then you can go an extra so she'll go on an angle, right? To get as high up as she can. Yep. And she's going to just keep an eye on everything. Um, okay. Okay. And then... Uh, it's an insight check to see if we see... If we can figure out... Yes. ...who the illusions are, right? Okay. Does, uh, does Kimani um, your familiar? Does that take a bonus action? Well... Oh no! Technically, because it's it no, should have its own initiative. Is gonna, yeah, yes. I want her to dash on yeah. her turn, so That's she's fun. just saying to her what to do. Right? Is that okay? Sorry. Um, yeah. Okay. So I think, given that I am uh, sixty feet away from, if I did my ruler right, from this guy, uh, and I'm going to uh, cast a little spell. Okay. And under that dude who I just saw Carlisle closed with. Um, you will see kind of inky black sort of shadows come up out of the ground and I'm casting a uh, chill touch. Okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, what to attack? Uh, 25. 25 hits. What the hell? What do you mean cast at what level? Oh, did you set it up wrong? <laughs> I guess. Are you should. Well, uh, how yeah. do you... Just, just, just click press zero, maybe? And set it up yeah, thanks, Joe. Joe. <laughs> <laughs> just click, just click, uh, click zero. Hey, Joe, remember when you couldn't figure out your NPCs? <laughs> How about that? Remember when what you made fuck? so many? You couldn't figure fuck? out where they were? Did I, I mention they have disadvantage? Uh, That's fucking yeah. cool. <laughs> oh my God. Uh, fucking remi- seven. Take you're... seven. Seven points of damage. Uh, uh, necrotic damage. Reminder, by the way, Sam, you do have uh, birthday inspiration we're so today. We're Oh, yeah. <laughs> so bad. Hey, so bad. <laughs> I'm gonna okay. need that. You see the tentacle strike out and kind of burn at him. Um uh as you can see tearing Why away pieces of flesh. 
Uh, okay. What else do you want to run into? Anything? Uh, and then I am going to stay. Actually, I lie. I'm going to move in in front of the Lord Keeper. Uh, she glares at you and goes, turn. "Was this you?" Which obviously was this not you? Me? No. I was going to ask if it was you. Give me a persuasion check. All right. With disadvantage. Hold on, my screen's tiny. Uh, persuasion, you said? Mm -hmm. She's not gonna make oh, it, oh, it's Lord. a two. Okay. Oh my. The woman in the center, who's been cackling the whole time, it's drowned <laughs> out by the sound of drawn knives and, and kind of screams of people in terror. She turns uh, towards... She's going to turn towards her, right next to her. Uh, <clears throat> and she's going to cast Eldritch Blast. She just launches this big kind of black bolt just straight into her back. Uh, but <laughs> flies up and just smashes against the table, causing some of the table to collapse, and she misses it. So unused to her powers at the moment. <laughs> Frustrated, she kind of steps up 10 feet again. Readying for her next one, but uh, she does not have one right yet. Uh, and then she is also going to use... Uh, yeah, she's going to put a hex on her as a bonus action. Damn, she hates this girl. <laughs> <laughs> What'd they do? Uh, I'll oh, never know. <laughs> all the allies are going to be going at the same time. Okay, uh, well, technically, this is of the surprise round. So the crown out allies uh, set of one ally. Um, all of them are still in their surprise <clears throat> round, except for one. Uh, you'd see this one, the Guardian of Arista Ordo kind of prepared, always ready for a bit of a battle, uh, steps forward and goes in for uh, two strikes. Where's my damn thing? There it is. Uh, goes in for a, 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 a two strikes with her... Oh, sorry, three strikes, three attacks uh, with claws. Uh first two, one kind of, she steps forward right to the person that's just stabbed her lord kind of cuts her across the face and then slashes her twice across the chest. This girl drops back dead. As the bodyguard kind of steps forward and like, kind of onto the table and like flanks and like looks around kind of holding herself up on the table. Now the rest of the allies right. join the fight. So okay. it's now all about if they can determine who is bad or not. Uh, this person mm. can, because they are absolutely under attack. Uh, they're gonna turn around and just acid splash right at the person behind them. Uh, which they have to make a deck save. Uh, they fail. They take seven points of acid damage as the acid just burns over them. They go, ah, ah! You can see the acid almost go through the illusion. Just hear the kind of smoldering sound of it burning the flesh beneath. Um. Lord Keeper Linear. Right behind you, Andressa is mm -hmm. going to step back, grab one of the kind of cups, casting magic stone on it, and she's going to throw it at you. Okay. She thinks you're the one who did it. 13 to hit. It does not. It bounces off your armor, uh, your major. But I do turn around and I'm like, you idiot. Uh, the horse lord down in the, in the corner kind of steps up looking at the creature that's coming down towards him. He's going to take an attack. Uh... By the way, the reason it's rolling twice, I'm only taking the first roll unless they're getting at 20 on the first roll. Uh, 16 to hit against the, the otherworldly creature. Doesn't hit. It kind of tries to trample and hit against it with the hooves, but it just batters them away. And then you'd see across the room... Uh, Arista Ordo is... Uh, he kind of leans down... Grabs a chest, snaps the leg off, and kind of holds it as a weapon, stepping behind his bodyguard. Um, and he's ready in action. Um, Sir Kittick is also going to lean down. You see him kind of grab one of the bread knives, or like the, the knives that are uh, uh, used to cut meat on the table. Pulls one up and uses it as kind of like a dagger. Um, and he'll step in with you, kind of flanking beside you, and going for a strike himself. Uh, nice. Nice. Big, big hit. Six points of damage. Mm -hmm. He Good comes job, in. Kiddick. After you, like, slashed into them, he pops up behind you. A little confused at that first moment. Just stabs it straight in the throat. That one drops down dead in front of you. Yeah. 
Uh, and then uh, oh. Urodot. Uh, she is. Yeah, she's gonna push herself forward and go straight for the creature. Um, she oh my God. leans up, grabs like kind okay. of the one of the long like like uh, the long kind of forks, which is used to hold down the meat, and it has like a good like few inch blade. Steps up, just launches herself, just kind of stabs against it, trying to keep its distraction. Uh, ten does not hit. She clinks off of its bony kind of carapace skin. <clears throat> v. Hmm. All right. Um. So I, we saw, or I saw this lady probably do the Eldritch Blast attempt, right? The one in the center? Yeah. She's cackling away and you just see yeah. her launch magic against someone. Okay. You know what to do. Yeah, I'm trying to decide if we <laughs> would go for, follow, or not, probably not. Okay, V's going to go over here. Um, she's going to uh, sprint over to this lady and mm -hmm. ready her rapier. And she's, before uh, attempting to plunge an attack, she's going to say, this one is ripe. And she's going to try to attack it. Okay. Her. 26. Uh, All right. 26 uh, hits. Hell calm yeah. Down. Don't, don't nine, calm down. Nine damage. Yeah. Never nine calm points down. of damage. Okay. Um, and then, uh, da, 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 da. I'm still learning Barbarian. I'm sorry about that. No, this. it's okay. No, um, you just jab okay. your kind of blade into her. She, she, she so turns I her head towards you. I can only do a reckless attack if I announce reckless it prior. Attack. Yeah, that, that gives you okay. advantage. It's not like an additional Oh, attack okay, okay, I got, I got you, I got you, I got you. Okay. Okay. Uh, I think that's it then. Okay. No, I'm turned. Um, I'm going to roll a perception check just to see if someone saw something. Uh, they didn't. Uh, okay. On the creature's turn, it kind of looks down straight at the one behind, uh, right next to it. Um... And it's gonna go for a bite on the centaur, uh, which I think hits him. Uh, yeah, it does. It just hits him. Uh, you see a bite down on top of him. He kind of screeches, trying to like his legs kicking. His horse kind of like like trying to pull him away. Crunches down, and you just see this kind of almost like screech go off, a silent scream. His whole body ripples, and he goes limp and dives in her grasp. Uh, she turns, she takes a, uh, a claw strike at the one right next to her, uh, but misses. She kind of backs off, ducking underneath the claw, and the other one's gonna come straight for Uridot. No. Uh, but misses. <laughs> Uridot kind of clinks off of it and like deflects it against her shell. You can see kind of scrapes going down the shell. Uh, and the creature is gonna run rampant this way, five, 10, 15, 20. Uh, Uridot gets a attack of opportunity. Let's go. Uh, and hits it, kind of jams the, the fork straight into it, only yeah. doing one point of damage. Um, it just kind of sticks it in. And it stops and turns right back again. Oh. Zonia. Zonia is going to... I think move along this way. Who is, who is this again? That's the, uh, that's Mela Wingspur. That's the bard who was doing the illusion. They're kind of holding their loot, completely confused about what everything's kicking off. Okay. Five, sorry, 10, 15, 20. As I'm walking by here, mm -hmm. um, I'm going to cast a vicious mockery on this person, this person that failed to hit Borm. Yep. Um, um, it's a wisdom save, right? Or was it intelligence save? It is. Let's look. <laughs> it's Wiz, right? Yeah. Um, I don't know why I'm second guessing myself. I'm pretty sure it's Wiz. Yes. Yes, uh, they fail. Saves. You see 15. So they take the four points um, of psychic damage. Yeah. On on the way by, she'll say something like, I literally fed him to you. You couldn't <laughs> even hit him. You, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. That's as far as I can go. Okay. Um... I don't. I don't think I can do anything with my bonus action right now. So it's my turn. Okay. Uh, blades are going out. Uh, the assassins up the top. 
Uh, the one right next to you that you attacked. Uh, it's going to take a strike at her. Ooh, double checking. Uh, if she is... <coughs> 17. Uh, yeah, no, uh, that's going to hit. Uh, she has five points of piercing damage against her, which kills her. She stabs her right in the back, brings the knife out. The halfling drops against the table. Um, Where? Oh, that was up at the top. Yeah, yeah up at the top. The one right okay, next to I this see. guy is also going to take a strike. Mm -hmm. Natural one. Stabs into the table. The guy moves. His knife gets kind of stuck in the table. And the guy's panicking, screaming, kind of pushing at his face, trying to get him away from him. Uh, the one next to you, Carla, is going to strike at you. Mm -hmm. Only a six. Swings his blade around kind of dangerously, trying to hit you. You can see he's kind of all like full in like chef garb. Um, but no flower comes off of his kind of clearly flowered up form. Um, but the knife is kind of swinging around wildly, trying to cut you. Uh, double checking if there's any other. Uh, there's another assassin here. They go in for a strike. A natural one again. They kind of swing and miss a few times. I think. And there's still one more. And a seven. They kind of get deflected off by the, uh, the dragonborn up here. Kind of pushes away, knocking the hand out of the way. All right. That's all the assassins. On your turn, uh, Morgane, you can hear Kittick say, Bravo Dawn. In the, in the middle. That's her. We need her alive. Uh, Morgan will nod and kneel down and um, mutter something under her breath and cast Expeditious Retreat. Oh, shit, okay. Nice. Um, and then you see nice. her bolt towards the middle of the room with like unnatural speed. Uh, I'm gonna go, let's map this out. Perfect. Yeah. Just kind of dashing across the room. Yeah. Um, would I sense anything about Rav Drawn, or would I just be drawn uh, to the cat? Yes, you would. Uh, 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 no uh, purple magic on them. You would see, uh, similar to when you looked at Andrasa, you would see that they have uh, blue magic up on them. Abjuration. Okay. Um, you can see they're kind of stood there, kind of just cackling away. Yeah, she would... Uh, Launch a vertical swing with the long sword. Okay. On the cackling. Are you attempting hang. to uh, KO or kill? Um. Given the situation, kill. Okay. Yeah. Twelve. Uh, Twelve does not hit. You hit. Deflects off the magical armor that kind of appears when you swing. She looks and goes. <sighs> I won't go back. I won't go back. You can't make me. You're all going to die here. You're all going to die. And it stands in your if face. If you won't go clarity. back, Drawn, you'll perish. <laughs> Not I. Not I. Anything else? No time. Carla. Carlisle is going to try to, as non lethally as possible, stop this person from fighting so i'm i'm going to be attacking as non-lethally as i can okay yeah you can uh, you can swing uh, your weapon with a um like a, attempting to knock it out yep okay uh so that's a 10 i'm going to use fortune of the many since there are three allies around me to raise that to a 13 to hit this guy okay yeah yeah yeah, yeah. does that just add your uh proficiency uh, as, uh, as long yeah it's um so I can add as up to as many um, allies up to three that are around me in 30 feet. I can add that to my roll if I fail. So if I okay. missed on a 10, I can bring it up to a 13. Okay. So yeah. Which hits. Okay. Uh, so first attack is going to be seven. Uh, that's enough to knock him out. Uh, you'd okay. see as, uh, as you kind of whack him on the side of the head, he just <laughs> slumps down to the floor. Completely unconscious. Okay. Awesome. I saw this guy attacking as well. Yes, you right. Did. Okay, Carlisle is going to use the rest of his movement to get next to this guy. I'm going to use my uh, extra weapon mastery attack that I get with daggers and light weapons to do my bonus light attack. Okay. Uh, which will be a sneak attack oh. this time because he's already in combat. Uh, that is a 14 to hit. I don't know why I added a plus two on my 
Yeah, I'm not sure. Damage. Uh, it's added uh, the sorry, sneak attack. For some reason, That's my sneak attack is in the wrong spot. Uh, I'll roll and then I'll just add the sneak separately. Uh, D6. So that's another uh, 12. Non Kill or knockout? Non lethal? Oh. Okay, yeah, I'm you knock them out as well. You just jump over and you <laughs> knock them with the back end of it. You see them drop down to the ground. Nice. Unconscious. Okay. And that's Carlisle's turn. Okay. Desmond. Um. Desmond looks around seeing Carlisle take care of these two guys. Uh, and he spots the big thing. Mm hmm. Um. And immediately he jumps out and is going to have to use half of his movement to stand up. And uh, he activates his. <laughs> you see his Go. like the pistons on his feet sort of glow uh, and start just pumping faster as he activates his uh, expeditious. <laughs> okay. Oh, my God. As fast as he can. Oh, my God. His bonus action dash. <laughs> yeah. Amazing. Amazing. <laughs> I love him. <laughs> um, and while he's turning around looking behind him keeping an eye on this thing he sees uh, them two trying to fight her and he's just going to take just a wild shot as he's running to try to help if he can yep, yeah yeah you, uh, you still get your shot incredible uh, for 15 to hit 15 hits no damage Um, I'll get rid of Hunter's Mark. I didn't mean to have that on. Uh, yeah, seven okay. piercing. Seven points of piercing. Yeah, as a bolt just strikes in the back, just, ah! <laughs> feels kind of behind her as the, the bolt managed to get through the mage arm and she feels the blood in her hand and kind of looks at it, realizing her mortality. Too. Anything else? Oh, that's it. Um, Indrasa. going to turn... And glance back at Lord Keeper, Linnea, and um, I'm flattered, but I think the bigger threat is that. And I'm going to point to the big scary monster uh, across the way. Stop throwing dinnerware at me and focus or everyone dies. And then... This is not going to do much, but I am going to throw up. No, I'm not going to throw up. <laughs> I'm not going to do that. Um, I am going to, I'm going to try to uh, cause fear on it. Let's okay. Let's see if we can stop it from coming towards us. Uh, so that is a w uh, wisdom save. Uh, wisdom save? I got Baby spell save DC, so... It rolled a 13, but it is immune to Frightened. Cool. Okay, good to know. Um, I'm going to assume that the Lord Keeper saw her... It's actually vocal, so heard what I was casting. Mm -hmm. Be like, help out. And then I'm going to... There's something uh, that you do a persuasion move. check with advantage. Like she sees you helping, but you still got to convince her. How is she smart enough to be a faculty member and so fucking dumb, dude? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Get her ass. 15. Uh, we didn't get along, okay? I don't she know goes, if you guys could tell. You guys seem like besties to me. We'll deal yeah. with this afterwards. Andrasa. All right. I'm going to move uh, 30 feet away from that. So okay. I'll go... Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. 10, 15. I'm going to... Come back here-ish. Okay. And that's it. Sorry, that's it. Uh, and then my familiar is still just uh, uh, keeping an eye on what's going on. I kind of want her to rotate around the column so that she keep can keep out. an eye on that creature at all times and kind of, yeah. Okay, sure. Um, on the cackling woman's turn, she is going to do a... Yeah. She's gonna do. Uh, she's gonna kind of cut her hands together and look towards both V and Morgan. And you would see as just fire ripples in her fingertips as she casts Burning Hands, <laughs> blasting it towards you. Can I get a deck save from both of you, please? Mm-hmm. Eleven. Three. Uh, you. 
both fail. Uh, you both take seven points of fire damage as it goes, kind of plumes over you and burns against your skin. And you can just hear a kind of cackling laughter as the smoke kind of dissipates. She's still smirking beneath it, even if blood's kind of starting to kind of gather in her mouth. God. All right. Uh, now to look at the sets of allies. Um, you see the Arcanist kind of steps up. He's going to cast a firebolt uh, straight towards the creature. How far away is he, actually? Yep, uh, he can reach. Uh, he's going to do a firebolt. Only an 11, doesn't hit. Um, Borm's going to turn around, move straight towards the one he saw strike at him. And makes a strike. 15. Does 18 points of bludgeoning damage. Just brings his whole maul down on top of her head and just crushes it into the ground. Just Christ. crushes it again afterwards and steps on her. Um, and grunts. Goes, and then moves herself back up to try and defend his lords. Um, Lady Tugal is going to throw an improvised weapon at the creature. It's a nat 20. Uh, she does five points of piercing damage to it. She just just throws like a kind of an entire bowl and you see the glass smash against it and kind of bits of the shards go inside. Um, and then... Uh, do, 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 do. Uh, the apprentice here, she's going to shoot an ice bolt straight towards Brava. Uh, 18 hits her for three points of cold damage. She's looking injured. Uh... The, the Black Dragonborn is going to make a... Uh, he's going to grab beside him and pull up one of the... Oh, actually, no. He's going to do his... He's going to step up here. He's going to do his, uh, his acid attack. He's going to breeze deep into his mouth and just spews acid over this person trying to stab him. Who has successfully stabbed him, technically. Uh, they succeed, but he still takes... Uh, three points of acid damage. He's going to get burnt as he moves away. Okay, that's uh, that's their ones, I think. Unless there's any other survivors. Uh, I don't... Oh, no, no, this guy. That's who I was looking for. So, Gore. He's going to kind of rush over the table and go and help him and use his core attack. Uh, ten doesn't hit. And that's the other allies. Uh... Just my luck, they roll together. Uh, Eyes is going to stay guarding her captain. Uh, Linear is going to throw a magic stone over towards that creature. Hits it for eight points of damage. And then, is there anyone else? Oh, yeah. And then Kitik is going to rush up here as well. Uh, he summons his blade. Uh, and it brings out a longsword himself. And he's going to move in towards the creature. Uh, this should be a D8, not a D6. One sec. Let me just change it because he's... The ability is Sam. And he hits. He kind of moves and he strikes against it and does eight points of damage, slashing damage, as he kind of brings his blade up against it. Uh, okay. And then, oh yeah, and then Uridot, who's going to kind of grab another like knife off the table and try and stab. Uh, but misses. Oh my gosh, she's so brave. Uh, she's a toughie. Uh, uh, yeah. And then the Chondra here with the Acid Splash that I forgot as well. Who is a deck save again. Uh, they failed. Uh, they take 10 points of Acid damage. This person just burns away in Acid. As the Chondra oh. fights back. Nice. Uh, Alright, it's V's turn. Also remember you have your Weapon Masteries if you're using your weapon. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Not using my weapon. <laughs> wee wee. <laughs> All right, v. Um, so V is, she's gonna pull back the rapier and lunge it forward and she's gonna say, return to the source. And she's gonna try to attack. 11? Uh, it does not hit. She kind of reflects of her mage armor. All right. Um, da -da 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 -da. I think that's all I can do. Yeah. And. Uh, the woe strider is gonna lean down and go for a claw attack against Uridot. Strikes her, and you see, as her blood flings across the table, her body slumps down. Oh. Rodot dies. Turns around, goes for a claw against Kittick. 
Uh, let me double check if that actually hit. Yeah, he's not wearing armor. Uh, it hits. Uh, he takes 10 points of damage. He's still alive, though. Uh, and then it's going to go for a bite attack against him. As he kind of steps back. And it steps down and, and la launches down on top of him. Uh, but misses. Uh, he kind of steps back into the air as the teeth kind of unwrangle in the in the air in front of him, kind of almost becoming like a like an opening of a tunnel as you see the teeth tss, 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 kind of break apart in front of him. Uh, but he survives. Uh, it's then going to rush on, moving over here. Uh, he takes this attack opportunity. Hit him hard. Uh, it will only move past all the way if he doesn't hit. Why have I lost this thing? Uh, here it is. Uh, 17 hit does hit. It's not the uh, it's not the crit. But he does do 9 points of damage, meaning it wouldn't move beyond his reach. It would stop here. <laughs> As blood kind of sprays out. You can see loads of cuts on this creature now from when others have fought and died against it. Zonia. Uh, Zonia is going to continue moving. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. I go by this guy. I don't know if he's bad or not. <laughs> Uh, no, that's Ableton. You'd recognize him. That's the old man that you, Great. you so familiarly recognize. <laughs> just give him a thumbs up. <laughs> just go by like, what's up, dude? Crazy, right? What is up with this party? <laughs> party tonight, <laughs> right? <laughs> um, I would also recognize Carlisle mm -hmm. and remember that he said that he was a doctor. And... Um, I'm not sure what she would say, but I would want to give him a bardic inspiration. Um, some, yeah, she would she would just call out to him and say, um, I have healing magics. Is there anyone that I should be helping? I think that when you're saying that, Carlisle is like thousand yards staring towards the monster. His sure. passive perception is high enough. That I think he would have seen Uradok get killed. Mm -hmm. And he'd be, okay. he would be, I don't think he'd even hear you, honestly. I think he'd be like, fair enough, now in a moment. very deep panic right now. Okay. Can I give it to him anyway? Mechanically? Um, <laughs> I think uh, that maybe if I heard you, I'd like snap out of it a little bit. Yeah, because it's um, magical as well in that nature, right? Yeah, maybe that's the mm. thing that could help you snap back into reality is this kind of almost this voice uh, in the darkness. Carlisle's gonna look over because you asked if like you could use like healing magic on anyone. Yeah, right? so yeah. Look over to the person that was just getting stabbed. Are you all right? Um. Uh, uh, this person here is like, <laughs> you can see they're kind of bleeding quite profusely from the front. Oh, I, I don't know. Oh, he stabbed me. He stabbed me. Okay. Let me see. I'm trying to remember. Sorry. Really quick. That's okay. Trust me, I'm taking a long time on my turns. I got so I, I'm, I can't just. <laughs> <hurt you guys. laughs> uh oh, dang it! It's a bonus action now. Oh, okay. Yep. Um. Okay, shoot. I don't think I can <laughs> shoot. What a waste of turn! I can't do anything then. That sucks. Okay. Well, uh, I will take the bardic inspiration at least. Yeah. You can do something with your action, uh, like well, just hide action. If, you can do if, stealth, anything like that. Yeah, I'll um, I'll hide. Okay. Yeah, just roll a stealth check and slip into somewhere you'd probably hide against. Okay. Um, look in the assassins again. I don't think there's many up anymore. I think there's only two currently standing. Uh, that aren't. KO. Uh, oh, nice. Nat 20 There's on my self. nat 20. Yeah, nice. Uh, yeah, <laughs> you use. kind of drift against the window and you can see the kind of almost the lights illuminating around you and almost the darkness from within has shadowed you. Uh, no one's looking at you. Um, this assassin over here is going to strike out against the dragonborn in front of him. Hits him. Uh, dealing five points of piercing damage against him. Uh, but I think he's still up. He is a fighter. Yep, he's still fine. Uh, and then the other one is going to... Oh, wait, was there even another one? I think that might have been the last one, actually, because the other one died. Okay, yeah. Um, then it's Morgan's turn. 
You hear kind of Kit kind of shout from behind as the creature's going to fight against him. Yeah. <clears throat> um, she attempts to like recall from the the flaming hand, mm -hmm. um, but wearing a, a shitty ball gown, it does very little. <laughs> um, and while her back turns, she'll like gently touch her blade and it will glow purple. Uh, I'm going to cast Wrathful Smite. Mm. Um, and then she'll like spin back around with a flurry and swing at uh, Draver. Okay. Let's see if we can hit. Oh my god. I'm going to uh -huh. inspiration that. Use your inspiration then, because that's a net one, yeah. Okay. Just re-roll it, right? Yep, just re-roll it. 20. That hits. Much better. Um, for 11 plus 3, and it's all psychic damage. Do you want to describe how you kill her? Um, nice. Stand there, kind of turns towards you. I won't go back. I won't go back. She'll touch the blade, and it'll glow purple, and she'll spin and slice, um, but there's no visible damage to her. Um, you'll just see her, like, scream, and her eyes roll back, and she'll just collapse onto the floor. You see them roll the way back, and, like, the blood your eyes just kind of fill with blood. Before she slumps back dead. And then she'll dash towards the monster. Okay. Yeah, with the bonus action. To assist Kittick. Okay. Uh, oh. It's yes, because you had the roller on. Wait, uh, 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 uh. wait, I'll just move because I can't dash because I use my bonus action. Oh, yeah, that's true. Yeah, you only have the 30 feet. Um, but you start rushing your way towards it. Um, okay. Yeah. Oh, you'd also lose Expedition's Retreat because Wrathful Smite is concentration. So you've replaced it. I, I don't think Expedition's Retreat is concentration, unless I'm wrong. Uh, is it not? It is. It is, yeah, yeah, is, it, is. it? Yeah. Oh, okay, my bad. No, it's okay. Um, that anybody does. Uh, Carla. Carlisle's going to, like, get down on one knee and uh, say to the one that the person that's injured next to him, here, hold some pressure on this. He's going to give them, like, some bandages from his bag. Okay. He's going to hand them the knife from the person. Stay under the table. It's going to be okay. And he's going to get back up. Oh, and uh, he's going to use his dash as well to start running south towards where he saw Uradak go down. Okay. Yeah, yeah. He'll Diamond get to possible. about here. Uh, and then I'm going to... I guess I can use my... Hang on. Let me actually do... A measurement here. Uh, if I move one square closer, I think I can actually throw a dagger okay. at this yeah. guy. I need the body out of the way. Move to here, and uh, yeah, Carlisle's gonna he's gonna throw a dagger. Yep. At uh, this one, that's a twenty. That hits. You also have sneak attack technically because uh, Kittig is considered an ally in this situation. Seven damage. Seven points of damage. Nice. Okay. Nice. And that'll be me. Uh, okay. Uh, Desmond. Um, I'm going to make a save for myself for a reason. Yeah. <laughs> a reason. <laughs> okay, I had just made it. I made the DC 10 for myself. Um, he is going to be able to approach mm -hmm. uh, the bigger thing right now. Uh, sing Carlisle, go straight after it because... It's one of the only people that he knows here. Um, this will be a disadvantage shot because it's just out of range. Okay. Yep. But he'll try to make the shot against the big thing. A 14. 14 does not hit him, I'm afraid. It clinks off of the, the kind of carapace of it. Okay. Um, and with his bonus action, he will use uh, his expeditious retreat and... Uh, sort of duck behind this table. Okay. And that'll be it. Andrasa. You just see this creature kind of standing there now. There's only one assassin left in this creature. Who's this? Uh, that's Arcanist Jonta. Fuck me. Okay, fine. <laughs> um, okay. I'm going to... 10, 10, yeah, that'll hit her. Uh, that'll hit them. Okay, never mind. I... I'm bummed out. 
I'm going to, uh... I'll, I'll chill touch. So I guess we'll do that. Get against that what, sorry? Uh, against the creepy Against thing. the monster? Okay. Yeah. Uh, uh, sorry, it's a little advantage on 15. Uh, 15 doesn't hit. You see it kind of... And not manage to break through. The creature kind of moves away from the, um, the tentacles that are forming. And then I think... I think Andrasa does not know where the other assassin is. Yep, it's okay. I don't think she's been focusing on that. So I'm going to have her uh, just kind of move here-ish. Okay. Yeah, rushing towards the Um, center. Yeah, she's trying to get a better view, I think. Um, All right, that's a waste of a turn. That's all she can do. No, no, no. It's not a waste. Always (laughs) try. Uh, okay, uh... Fucking Arcanist in the way. Allies turns, um... If it was gonna firebolt the creature again, misses. Uh, Borm stays where he is, just defensive, protecting his lords. Uh, Tubal is gonna throw another item from the table, another glass. Misses. Um, so, Narian is gonna strike... Uh, wait, uh, no. Uh, shh. Apprentice Beric is gonna shoot a... Ice Lance towards the only assassin near her. A six cold, which doesn't kill him, but he gets struck by the, the magic. He's kind of standing there, realizing he's alone, freaking out. Um, so Nola is the one that can strike out with kind of like a chair leg and strikes this ass in front of him, hits. Uh, kills this assassin, but just drives like a chair leg straight into his chest and drives him to the ground. Um, and then begins kind of moving downward to try and help the situation. Uh, and then it's going to go over to the section section of allies. And of those, the conjurer is going to step forward and shoot some acid as well. Um, which the creature has to do a dex save for. And succeeds. So, uh, I don't think acid splashes half damage. Um, the lore keeper is going to shoot magic stone at the creature. Uh, misses. And then finally, Kitik is going to strike out as well against it, uh, which he actually does hit with a 19. Hey, good he job. strikes down like upward, cutting it for 10 more points of damage. Keeps just cutting into this creature, kind of dodging side to side as the claws come past him. V. All right. Um, v is going to dash forward, um, but on the way there, she's going to suck her lower lip into her mouth and draw blood so she maintains rage um and so she gets over here i think that's as far as i can go actually i'll dash um but before dashing she'll write at morgane's ear say this one's mine she'll move forward (laughs) Uh, blood trickling down her mouth (laughs) the creature is gonna look down and go for a bite attack against Kitik. Uh, 12 to hit him. Uh, his AC is currently... Oh, where is it? 11. Because he is not in armor. But he's kindness. Uh, he is... Ki- oh, no, you're absolutely right. No, you're absolutely right. They do have a plus one. They have a plus one to AC, so... It's it nice. Would anyway. It would have put it hit anyway. Fuck. Uh, so <laughs> I tried. You did try. No, it's a very good try. <laughs> it's true. That's it in their racials. Uh, yeah, this just goes through like this. Um, it bites down against him. It does the 10 points of piercing damage to him. He's wounded. It doesn't take the psychic damage because he's not grappled by it. Uh, and then it's going to take a claw attack against V. She can, runs in. 26 to hit. Yeah, that'll hit. Christ. You take eight points of slashing and three points of psychic damage. So the eight points is going to be reduced down to four. And you take the extra three okay. points. It just kind of claws beside you. And then it's going to okay. claws at Chlorokitic. Strikes him. He looks up, kind of breathes his and He looks over towards you. Morgan, as the claw just comes down, he goes to the effect and he just screams. <laughs> as it cuts through, he <laughs> drops his blade. It disappears. He goes, <laughs> she was with another. And claps his back dead. Oh. Zonia. 
Oh my gosh. Okay. So, um, Zonia sees what she's been looking for, uh, and kind of winces and steps forward <laughs> and is going to try to get under this table <laughs> okay. with this person. Yeah. You sit on the um, goes, oh. like, this is my table. Get <laughs> out. Yeah, get, gets under the table and like <laughs> bumps her head because she's huge mm -hmm. and, uh, turns to this woman and, uh, it casts healing word. Okay. Um, and while she's doing it, <laughs> she'll be like, I'm about to do something really strange. And I really, I, I would love if you could pretend that you never saw it. Can you do that for me? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, fantastic. Are you all right? Are you doing okay? Yes, I think so. Um, Zonia is going to reach out and <laughs> like tug on this person, bringing them kind of under the table with them and start undressing them. And while it's happening, um, the glow of her starts to flicker out almost like a light bulb. Mm -hmm. And the bright pink of her eyes sort of drips out to show like a silvery white. And the curly hair becomes straight and dark and she noticeably gets a bit smaller. Um, and is not Zonia at all. <laughs> Let's go. Uh, and is obviously trying to undress this person because now this outfit does mm -hmm. not fit at all. <laughs> the clothes that she was wearing. Inappropriate um, fighting outfit as well. Find mm. your... uh, so you morph and kind of change into the clothing. Uh, let me just ask you something. Yeah. Uh, I'm just going to message you. Okay. So cool. <laughs> that was such a cool reveal. <laughs> As you kind of God yeah damn. okay good yeah so your real character will be wow. here. I'm just gonna move Zonia over hey. to the screen and I'll give you access to this one. Hey. As you kind of lead there. Uh, Thank oh you. Oh my God! What? That was nice. <laughs> and you, I'll Zonia. give you access to the. Thing. She's even hotter. <laughs> <laughs> I literally, like a couple of days ago, said to Joe, I was like, I feel so bad because Brie keeps saying how much she loves my character. <laughs> yeah, and I don't know even how long it's going to take for me to break and be like, Brie, I'm not playing that girl. <laughs> um, I love this one even more. <laughs> and there you go. You oh should, my God. Uh, if you do this now, let me just do this. What's your thing, 14? So fucking cool. Uh, if I do this now. There you go. You should be able to control it. Um, yeah, as you take your actual form, putting on the new clothing, GG. the person on the TV just Fantastic. kind of just blinks, like falls back, just completely confused at what they saw. It's been a weird day for them. Uh, okay, <laughs> it's been a weird day for all of us. Uh, <laughs> more um, game. Yeah, I would. If oh yeah, yeah, if, you yeah, if you'll let me, if you'll let me, I would spend. That would be my action. Is yes. like. Yeah. Changing clothes. I don't know if I can do all of that. In <laughs> I, I don't mind as like a like you know in this whole kind of heightened moment, you're you're using your action to both kind of morph your form whilst you're also slipping on different clothing. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Cool. Okay. Uh, you also notice as you're kind of grabbing the clothes of this person that the clothes that you're actually grabbing off aren't really what it's wearing, and you're finding you're kind of mm. wearing this almost like darker, deeper, like leathered and, and kind of almost um, undergarments because it's a little illusion. So your fingers are going through this creature, right. and you're kind of pulling away. Um, okay, interesting. Morgan, you just seen Kithik drop down dead. Uh, yeah. She would remember uh, Kios is the other target they were looking for, but hearing his cries of anguish and sensing his passing, she would just lash out at the beast, mm -hmm. swing her blade. Twenty-four hits for thirteen. Thirteen's good amount of damage. Yep. You slice into it, kind of cutting. You see the blood spray. It's still up. Uh, and as she, I don't, how did I she move? Yeah. As she attacks, she'll continue her momentum to try and like get over to get to. Yep. That's my turn. Carla, where is he? There he is. Carlisle's going to get one step closer to Uradot and check if they're alive. 
Or uh, no vitals. You can see her kind of lying there. What you notice in this kind of moment, she has a grin on her face. Like, you know, it's kind of excited to fight moment. Okay. Uh, yeah, he's not going to slow down. He's going to go run up and try to help V. Uh, he's going to run up and attack with his dagger. Okay. 16. Just hits. Okay. Nice. Let's go, uh, baby. Nine damage. Nine points of slashing damage. It's her. Creature's definitely her. I'm going to do my extra Nick attack. Yep. 23. 23 hits. Oof. For another five damage. You <laughs> cut into it twice. And then Carlisle is going to use his bonus action, uh, Fey Gift. I can use my bonus action to help people. I'm going to use my bonus action to give V advantage on okay. their next attack. Nice. Let's awesome. Go. Desmond. And that'll be Carlisle's turn. This guy's OP. No kidding. <laughs> Hell yeah. Um, Desmond is going to vault over this table. There he is. Yeah. Uh, to head right here and sort of duck down, put his arm on his other arm on the table. Uh, trying to steady it because it's definitely shaking a lot right now. Oh, baby. Um, he's going to, while he's focusing, drop the expeditious retreat and uh, put a hunter's mark on this thing. Okay. To try to make sure he gets it. Um, he'll take a shot uh, for 17. Nice. 17 hits. Um, for seven damage. Seven points of damage. Uh, it's still up, but it is looking and like that your bolt goes. Kind of stand there, all these cut wounds. Going, it's kind of bones snapping and looking to see who it wants to attack next. Oh, <laughs> um, so he, it's looking right. He's gonna duck down. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah, uh, and that's it. <laughs> and her. Okay, it looks hurt. Yeah, very much so. Okay, and is going to smooth her dress. Put up both hands, and she's going to cast Magic Missile. Okay. Uh, so let's see what we do. What is going on? Yeah, you've Why programmed all, all your spells bad. Because <laughs> that, <is>, that shouldn't <laughs> be a tech roll. No, we rolled them all. The thing is, I tested them again. all, and they were fine. <laughs> And I just looked at Yeah, that's sorry, that's like, toxic of me. Like Not badly, not badly. Just that was so uh, toxic. wrong. <laughs> I know. I'm I'm actually I've tuned you out wrong. completely because I'm trying to figure it out, but I do think you're a giant D bag in this I'm moment. Sorry. But we could talk I'm about so it later. Toxic. I'm sorry. I'm trying to figure out. Is I'm that sorry. I just would like actually since you brought it up, I would like Chad to know that did I put in all my spells? Yes. Guess who looked at every one of those I spells didn't test to see them, if they man. were right? I didn't who test do you them. think would have done that? Would it be our hey, hey, happy hey, DM hey, up there okay. in the it's top? It's okay. Who it's okay. Looked at them just, all? just roll well, did, just roll. Did you, so did you ever drag them in from the actual like compendium no. of roll twenty? You should do that. Because it was everything was super team. laggy, so I was like, "Fuck it, I'm just typing," and I think As probably don't worry about yeah. it. It's okay. As a wizard, you gotta give up on typing. That's true. <laughs> You're gonna have to do it. That's true. The lost like, thousand. It's all it's all gone wonky. I could just type it, and it's fine. It's gonna be fine. It apparently is not gonna be fine. Just go ahead and roll one d four plus one. Yeah. I got it. Thanks. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. Do you want to type it in for me? <laughs> no, Do you want to no, type I'm it good. in for me? You want to make I'm sure that I got good. it? I'm Roll good. one D four. Look, there's two monsters in this I'm room right now. I can put in plus one. It's a three. Uh, I'm doing okay, it like three. this now on principle. That's a four. Four damage. <laughs> you see kind of the blast go And off. another three. Three, four, three. Do you want to describe how you kill this creature? She's absolutely unruffled. <laughs> and she puts both hands up. And as her darts fly forward, they are a very deep, uh, like a dark, like plummy black, like almost a non color. And they just shoot towards it. And she goes straight for the uh, nothing fancy, just straight for the main. Uh, the, the largest kind of area. area. Yeah. You just see kind of each of the blasts kind of like start the first one like knocks its arm up in the air and the next three strike the chest open enough you can just see the ribcage breaking through and you just see its its body parts um, don't look like they're attached on the inside. There's nothing going to hold them together. So they will just kind of pull out all of the organs just onto the ground. 
Look at yours. And lies flat. Dead. And I killed it. <laughs> oh my god. End of initiative. Oh my god. Kandrasa shakes her head. <clears throat> You just see everyone kind of like panting, other people kind of grabbing others. People start fleeting to the side of the room. As... Carl, I was going to look over to uh, V and... Are you all right? Yes. Are you? Yeah, I'm fine. Uh, he's immediately uh, going to perception check to try to see who looks the most wounded and go help. Yeah, um... Let me see who got hit otherwise. Uh, That's a nat 20. Nat 20, yeah. You can kind of like just peer around the room. You've got that kind of doctor instinct. You can see how people like between the, the, the elements of fear and those who are actually injured. Um, uh, just, I'm just clicking on some tokens now to see who got stabbed. Uh, you can see Aridus took a took a nasty cut um, in the far corner. Uh, so Nola, um, the Dragonborn. Took a couple of cuts. Uh, there was the one under the table that you saw beforehand. Um, but other than that, I don't know if there's many more. All the other ones who kind of took some damage died. Okay. Mm. Well, while everyone else is doing their thing, that's what Carlisle's going to be doing, is going to, starting with the people that look the most injured, just stabilize their wounds. Yeah. Yeah, you can move, walk up to them. Um, you'd see the Dragonborn as you kind of walk up towards him. He goes, <laughs> kind of lowers his gun. What are you trying to do? It's all right. I'm 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 a doctor. I'm gonna I'm gonna make that bleeding stop. He kind of pulls aside his like awkward clothing that he's been forced to wear that doesn't really fit very well on him. He kind of looks where the knife is kind of stabbing. It's ah, it's gone between scales. Didn't even feel it in the moment. And you like oh, to kind of attend to it. That's adrenaline for you. <laughs> and he's gonna get to it. Um, people are kind of all gathering. Uh. Morgan, as you kind of step towards Kittick, you can see that he's in this like moment of like he's not completely dead yet, but you can... he's beyond saving. The blade, the kind of claw's gone straight through his chest. Yeah, <laughs> Kittick would like uh, Morgan would like drop her sword, clattering to the floor. She'd like <laughs> step over and kneel down. And she said, "No, no, 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 no! I need you. I need you. You can't die." And she'd attempt to lay on hands. You see the magic kind of mend some of the wounds, but it doesn't go all the way in. You can see he's kind of pierced portions of his kind of lungs are now filling with blood and you can see the insides of him cut deep and he goes, places the hand on your hand goes, oh. this isn't over. In my... He pulls out this kind of little small scroll he has. He shakily hands it out to you. Question that. And then he reaches into his pocket, kind of pushes past the cut, and brings out a blood wet page. Looks to be of a similar parchment from back home. Kind of hands it to you. Guys. Don't read this one until you are ready. There are many more on the list, but Kios must be stopped. You are capable. Stay with others who are capable. Find them. Get better. There are few knights in our order that have your capability and potential. Don't let my death be in vain. <laughs> Coughs in his... See, kind of as his clutch loosens, his chest stops heaving. He passes. Should Phil him go limp and, like, gently lower his head to the floor, touch his face, and close his eyes as she, like, fills his face. And then, uh, yeah, tuck the... tuck the letters she was given away. You see one of them is a spell scroll. The other one is a letter. Okay. I wouldn't see that, but... <laughs> you, well, you <laughs> I was see... waiting for that. So, 
exactly. <laughs> One of them you'd feel has um, transmutation magic across it. Okay. Um, okay. Um, and not wanting to look weak, she would like feel for her sword and then stand up and compose herself. The far end of the room, the Lord kind of who's chairs being knocked around, they're all kind of standing looking around. Lord Lepus goes, Everyone, please be calm. We have assassins in our room, in our midst. Step to the edge of the room, we'll, we'll go through. He starts continuing his kind of speech, just to try to calm everyone down. Forms kind of aggressively looking people at Ordo kept, Lord Ordo is kind of like seeing to his own wound and kind of <sighs> wraps up. Lord Keeping Linear looks towards you, Andrasa. Mm -hmm. If it wasn't you, who was it? Um, by now, Sestina has come back down and kind of just sort of now morphed with part of the dress. You can't really see where she is. I don't know, but I'd love to find out. Um, you had nothing to come do with, with this. Me. Come with me. And I'm going to walk towards the creature. Or actually, no, sorry. I'm going to walk toward, yeah, yeah, towards the creature, because that's where the statue was, right? I want to look, I know it's not there, but like the ground, like where this body dissipated. The, mm -hmm. the one that got chomped. Um, and I will say to the lore keeper, you know what happened, right? You get it? Shakes her head. That's not. You don't. That isn't. Know where we are. It's. Short version. I was right. You should have listened. Longer version. We're not done. We need to find. And then I'm going to, like, kind of point at the ground where the there's nothing. That. Who? That. And I'm going to just start looking around. Like, I'm going to look for, like, Zonia, because I know that she's part of, like, she lived here. Looking for, like, a servant or something, because I'm trying to figure out who would have known who this girl was. Yeah, I mean, it's... Uh, uh... Do you choice? Chaos, right? You have to look around here. People yeah. are like moving to the side. Others are like checking the dead bodies. Others are panicking, like grabbing things to kind of stand against the walls. It's hard to retell. Um, and you don't see Zonia. Um, she looks and goes, What you're saying is possible. There are many it's more. It's possible. It's now. It's not done. Yes, I understand. Very well. We need to temper the room then first and calm the room. Because if you're saying there are more of these things out there... Likely so. Very well. All right, you temper the room, because I'm not quite so good at that, yes? She looks straight away from you, straight towards the, the conjurer, the tabaxi, and starts discussing her beneath kind of bated breath. Um, the Lord kind of finished off saying what he's saying. We'll bar the doors! There could still be some among us right now. Carlo V. Desmond, and formerly Zonia, what do you do? Hmm. Um, outside of the windows, it's it's just dirt. Like, oh no, you're quite like high up now. If that's what you mean, do you mean like as in is it level ground, or do you mean outside the windows? What can you see? We we sunk into the earth, right, or into the. Into the ground, or did no, I misunderstand that? No, you're confusing that, that with uh, the beginning. It was the opposite kind of feeling. Um, it's it's almost as if you're going underwater, and what I mean by that is that feeling of like almost like the air changed around you, and like you're oh, changing into somewhere else. Um, you're still in the castle. You're still high up in the castle. It's not deep below the ground. Okay. Um, I would uh kind of slowly move toward where Laura Mill is. Mm -hmm. Um trying not to draw too much attention to myself, but uh yeah, they would 
approach Laura Mill, um, trying to trying to act like they've been with Laura Mill the whole time and trying to give Laura Mill a look of like, don't act surprised to see me. <laughs> you know. He nods his head. You can hear as you can approach, you hear Olimar screaming like Lady Sonia? Lady Sonia She's gone. She's gone. He's like kind of rushing across like the top, the sister grabbing him, like trying to talk to him and and you're arguing up the top end. Um Laura Mill nods his head towards you. Apt timing you have. Is this part Seems of your plan? The only to timing. Was this you? Well, you oh, I, yes, because I, I could have planned this. What is this? Do we know? I have no idea. I've I've never heard of anything like this. I don't I don't know what this is. See the Goliath kind of beside us kind of stood there, like already grabbed like another chair leg and kind of like sharpened the ends, like holding it almost like a weapon, like overviewing, letting no one come near the both of you. All right. Well You can leave with us when we leave. Okay. Hmm. Carla. You move over towards Lord Ordo and you see the tabaxi who can use that claw several times steps forward stops you just watches you and he looks across and kind of leans his head she's wondering if you've got a knife just trying to make sure people are all right these are i'm a doctor these i use these to well perform surgery i can leave them over there if you want what a persuasion check She just growls and goes, find someone else. And he, he looks down to his room and goes, so it's better to maybe have a nasty scar and a longer recovery than risk another one of those stabbings. <laughs> yeah, well, uh, uh, Carlisle will toss him like some bandages instead. It's he not going to be as good as if I were to do it, but if you hold some pressure on that, it'll Means that we're gonna push his pressure on faster. <sighs> She's just doing her job. Yeah, well, they also want to help out a little more with doing their job. Uh, I knocked two of them out over there. Should probably get them tied up. You just see her kind of blades coming. He goes, no, no, no. He turns towards, uh, th there's a man in front of him, kind of like tied back hair, Elvin. Um, kind of these summer flowers in the hair that kind of like work as almost um, bands that hold back his kind of uh, ponytail. A little harsher face. Ordo looks at him and goes, I want to interrogate those ones before your brother has them executed. The man nods and kind of moves around, snaps his fingers, um, and uh, and calls over someone to kind of help him walk over towards them. V, what do you do? Um, V would be uh, kind of shaking off the rapier to get the blood off of it and kind of cursing under her breath. Waste of blood. Just kind of in her own head. What about you, Desmond? Uh, the table that Desmond was hiding behind, he's now sitting at. Um, <laughs> he just picked up the closest cup to him, and he's holding it. Uh, just scanning the room at this point. <laughs> Desmond always needs Love a comfort that guy. cup. <laughs> Love that guy, dude. Where's that? Where's Carlo? Uh, pretty close to you. Uh, well, actually, no, now because he's moving around the room. Uh, up, he'd yeah. be farther up the north uh, part of the room. Okay. When I hear him <clears throat> conversing with the tabaxi. Yeah, I think so. You could probably. Uh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Morgan would head towards Carl's voice till she found him. Yeah. Carl out. Uh, uh, yeah. You and yeah. your companions fought valiantly. My thanks. Yeah. Yeah, you, you fought. You did. You fought pretty well yourself too. Uh, sorry about your. Uh, looked like you were pretty worried about that guy who went down at the end there. It's our duty. It happens. Um, if I might bend your ear though for a moment. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. This mage does not travel alone. There is a second one close. 
You think they're you think they're still in the uh the hall here or? This is Brava Vaughn and their companion Kios. I think they are close. Alright, well um What do you what do you propose we do about it right now? I'm just letting you know. Alright, well um I'll keep it in mind, but I uh right now my priority is making sure no one's about to keel over. That's kind of you. She'll you are head right. <laughs> Yeah. She'll just nod and head towards the middle of the room. She's like her dress is like frayed, she's got like burns. <laughs> I, uh, if I see Morgane walking around, uh, I would hail her down. Stand in her way, whatever. <laughs> Get her attention. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's rude. I wouldn't just stand right in front of her. Um, <clears throat> uh, Sir Morgane. Uh, do you, do you still have Mage Armor on? Yes. Okay. You would see Morgane tighten the grip on her longsword when you get in her way. Yes? I think because Andrasa was over by the body, she would have seen Kiddick down. Do you know what is happening right now? Can what do you, you mean? see where we are? All right. Morgan. Roll mm -hmm. an arcana check. Okay. Oh, baby. Uh, yeah. Oh! Uh, dirty 20. Oh, damn. You... Ignore the four. See what around you just wisps every now and then. Of teal. Okay. Doesn't match any school that you know. Do you see anything different than before dinner? Yes. All right. Unfamiliar magic. Indeed. <clears throat> what is this? You have no reason to trust me right now. I don't really have a reason to trust you right now. And I shan't. I know you are quite capable, so I'm going to let it go because I would like to get out of here alive, and I feel like you would like to make sure most people get out of here alive. We are not, well, hmm. We are in the hall, but also not. Do you know what a rift is? I'm trying to keep quiet, and I think- Would I know Sistina's, what a rift is? Sistina's eyes are keeping track of anyone who might be getting close. <sighs> to us. Uh, I have a question. How close is Carlisle to this conversation? Well, he's still uh, I mean, he technically, she, she walked over to Helen pretty close to you. Yeah, Andrasa would have been fine with Carlisle being right there. Because okay, she's also trying to figure listening. out who would have, yeah. He wouldn't be very stealthy. <clears throat> would I know what Rift is, TM? Roll a history check. Okay. Come on, baby, come on. Um, I don't know where that three's come from. I have, oh, guidance. It's an 11. It's an 11. You've had the term used, but it's not any magic you're familiar with. You've never really needed to know about magic like that. It's not anything that would ever come up in your line of work. I've heard of a rift. Hmm. I'll, um, kind of beckon Carlisle a little closer so I can keep my voice down. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he'll come over. Have you heard of reality magic? Hi. Let me let me do a let me do I guess an arcana check or something yeah. like that. Yeah. Uh eight. Huh? Not familiar magical school. Not exactly much of the uh, magic type, all so right, uh, all right. Ridiculous okay. notion. <clears throat> well, you're going to feel very awkward that you just said that, because that's what's going on right now. 
I don't have a lot of time to explain it. Honestly, it takes years of study and they don't want you to study it. And then I qu kind of throw a shitty look over at the lore keeper. The gist of it is we are in a bubble of reality. And we would like to get back to our reality, only our reality, right? The key is that girl who turned to dust. We need to find her. This is making no sense to you. It's fine. We need to find that girl. We find her, everything is fine. There could be more of those, and I point over at the thing. Um, I think... I don't know if she points at dead lady that Morgane was fighting. I don't know if she caused this, is the cause of it, if this was a circumstance that was just a coincidence. That girl is who Her we name need to find. is Brava Drawn. Do I know that name? No. Okay. Imprisoned in the Dread Vault for the use of forbidden magics. And she does not travel alone. I believe her companion is nearby. Maybe he has the girl. I'm gonna look at Carlisle. Look out the windows. What do you see? Oh, uh, well, um, yeah, Carlisle, take a look out. Yeah, I wrote a perception check in general. Um, they are tinted, so it's hard to see. Um, but with a 19, uh, You'd peer outside and you'd see the sun in the sky. Despite it look like dusk in this area, it looks gray in the distance. Like it's got almost like a filter over it. You can see a fog almost kind of starting to come over the town. The tinted painted glass makes it hard to see outside, but it looks like it almost looks like you're in a pocket of night. Oh, I don't like that. <laughs> so uh, if we find the if we find the girl, they can pop the bubble uh, essentially. That's a really good way of saying it. Yes, we need to find her. Bubble pops, everything goes back to normal. If we don't find her, we're stuck. All right. Well, uh... what's this? Uh, Morgan will produce the spell scroll. And she was given and handed it to. Yeah, uh, you would see the formation on the scroll. Uh, give me an Arcana check, uh, Indrasa. Okay. Scrolls in general in my world of transmutation magic has like a feel for you because it's like transmuting mm. onto the scroll. Twenty-six. It is a speak with the dead scroll. <laughs> well. Do you have someone dead you'd like to talk to? Hands she back. Turn her head slightly towards the direction she believes the corpse to be in. <laughs> Fair point. Ask it a few questions. Find out where their partner is. Maybe their partner has a girl. Everyone is fine. You do it. You don't want to ask them? I can't read it. You do it. Shit, that was rude. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> she says it really matter-of-factly, though. Like, <laughs> she's sorry. She'll, uh, okay, we'll turn and lean down and feel the left hand of the body, just to be certain. How many fingers does it have, Joe? Uh, on one hand, uh, it has... Let me just get my note on that, just so make sure, because I've... On one of its, on its left hand, I believe it is, mm -hmm. um, you can see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight fingers. Mm -hmm. Too many. What the hell? It's just extreme. That's just too that many. many. That's just too many. <laughs> eight fingies? <laughs> how do we even, how do you fit them? Like... Yeah. Morgan would nod and stand back up and turn back to uh, Indrasa. Ask it where Kios is. 
All right. Maybe let's not do this in the middle of the room. No, we should do it now. I do. There's a lot of people around. What's <laughs> around? The door is bashed against Bollocks. three times. <laughs> yeah, I'm right. not really sure we have time. We're going to just do it now. You get five questions. I want you to tell me what to ask. The door opens up. Ask it. And you suddenly see a group of guards start stepping in, weapons drawn. Blades coming in. Halberds, couple of them, couple of them swords, couple of them axes coming. You see, stepping through a half elf woman, uh, helmet in her, on her head. Um, she pulls off the helmet and looks around, uh, seeing the dead bodies. Um, you see, she's kind of got gray and soft uh, black hair, but it's kind of crew cut down. So you can just see the kind of streaks of gray in her hair. Middle aged, she kind of steps forward. Secure the door. Make sure nothing else comes back in. You, check around for survivors. She kind of marches down the room, straight past you. And you see the Lord step and go, Why, who are you? Sergeant Crisk. And we see that the matter has reached your hall, my lord. Where were my guards? There are several dead outside the doors. I imagine what happened here is also what happened down at the guardhouse. And it's happening around the town. Look, sir, keep your voice down. She nods her head and kind of steps forward. He looks at My guards will secure the room. Everyone, please stay in here. Have your men collect the dead. Move them to one side. She orders a couple of the soldiers that come in. There's about eight in total. Um, you see some of them kind of move in, so picking up some of the bodies to move them over to the side, looking at the creature and stepping around. Two of them step outside the doors and kind of close off the doors. You see the sergeant's talking to him up the top. He's kind of looking troubled. Laura Mill looks towards you. Tack, isn't it? It's been a long time since we've spoken one-on-one -on -one like this, but get close, find out what they're saying. All right. Meanwhile, you guys are in the middle of the room. You see others kind of come around. You see a guard will go towards you to move, to move the body and steps over towards mm -hmm. and kind of looks at We'll take care of it. Thank you. Yes, my lady. I steps around and moves around to move another If one. I see um, V and Desmond, I'd like to beckon them over so they can kind of make a little people curtain. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, V would uh, be lurking like five feet behind Carlisle while this was going on. <laughs> oh, cute. <laughs> yeah, Desmond will hop over the table and stand next to him. All right. Short version, we're going to ask them some questions. Need you to screen us as best you can. Yes? It's like block view? Yes. All right. All right. V's going to, yeah. like, pull her cloak out to, like, <laughs> block the view. <laughs> <laughs> if there was I'm any other scenario, people, like, are acting a bit irrationally right now, moving around, freaking out, having panic attacks and stuff. So no one's really noticing the weird behavior in the center because they're kind of seeing okay. it as, like, uh, especially as they start recognizing Indrus and whatnot. And Morgan okay. and While group killers. this, like, just to kind of cover our bases, because Carlisle knows that we're looking for someone in this place that's mm -hmm. likely in this room. I, while the spell is being cast and while the questions are being asked, I want to be looking around for anyone that does clock it and looks worried that they might be found out through, like, okay. seeing a spell, like, speak with the dead cast. Give me an insight check. Okay. And um, I get actually advantage on this because this is a place that I am not from and I'm a far traveler. Mm -hmm. So I can, I get advantage Yeah, dude. on uh, any insight checks to notice mannerisms or subtle gestures. Yeah. Okay. Sweet. So Good use of it. that is going to be, uh, sorry, I didn't do advantage. That's going to be 28. Fucking hell, mate. 28. Uh, you look around the room. Um, you start scanning like individual faces and you don't clock a single person in this room looking like they shouldn't be here or like anyone panicking about you guys. Um, everyone, it looks like whoever tried to perform this attack, um, has been killed or knocked out by you and it was kind of a, a bloodthirsty moment. It didn't seem very subtle beyond the initial attack, so it's... 
seems to be all civilians from this point onward, or at least knights and whatnot as well. Yeah, I think no, no, it's no. safe to say that uh, whoever it is we're looking for here uh, isn't in here. And anymore. in this room. All right. Okay, I'll do the scroll. Do the bit. Okay. Now, because technically you can't cast third level spells, it is going to take an intelligence check with a DC of 13. Okay. Oh boy. Okay. Let's go, homie. I wish I could. You help. got this. I don't know anything about a squirrel. Yeah, right. Uh -oh. um, You're also rolling hot, if only. Okay, wait. That's saving throw. I just want actual int. Just straight in. It's just your spell casting. Nope. Ooh. Spell. Seven. Read from it. It falters and the scroll fades. The words disappear and leave you parchment. And, um, is that how, how no, it works? No, that is not how it works. That's not it's good. risky sometimes to try these things because the schools hold you back and you can't know things until they say it's all right and I was not supposed to know that and therefore I could not do it. Well, we do it the old-fashioned way then. Yeah, what Where's, do we got for backup right. plans? We look. Where's the armory? We need to get out of this room. It would be helpful if we had someone. Where's that Lady Zonia? Because she knows everyone here, and it would be really nice if she could tell us who that was. Or servant or something. Can I look around for a glowing lady? <laughs> you can. You want a perception check? <laughs> okay. 13. You don't see glowing, you don't see that hair, you don't see a Goliath anywhere. Meanwhile, Tack. Hmm. How, what are you doing? So I was asked to approach the the guards that came in. Uh, yeah, the sergeant is currently talking to one side up near the top, similar to where all of the other lords are, uh, to Lord Lepos himself about the situation that's going down. Okay. Tack would get... I would try to get close enough, but also sort of use the guards um, to block the Lord's view of her, mm -hmm. or of them. Okay. Uh, give me like a, give me a charisma stealth check as you're basically trying to blend in. Okay. And look the norm, less so than hide. <laughs> Just roll charisma and add uh, proficiency to it if you have proficiency in stealth. Okay, let's see. Uh, I don't, so it's just a straight, straight roll, or do roll. I add? Okay. Come on, baby. Ten. Okay. Uh, you get somewhat close enough uh, to start hearing, like, kind of the remnants of the conversation. Those creatures that are in here, uh, my lord, there was a couple of them... Down by the guardhouse. There's other creatures in the town as well. Large things. They they, they go for the head. Uh, we rushed up. We took a... About 15 of us made it up to the to the wall. We lost the guardhouse, though. Other soldiers have burst into the town. There was many more on patrol around the festival. Several of us made it up here. There's, there's The hall has many dead in it, but... We've managed to secure the castle. We believe we can lock it. And you just see, as Borm starts stepping over towards you, and kind of growls over. <sighs> I don't recognize you. Oh no. Oh no. I came here with Laura Mill. Only a deception check. Ooh. You in trouble? <laughs> uh oh. I believe. What the fuck are these rolls? Dude, I got a seven on an inch. I know, I we have you. not. <laughs> Our past like 10 rolls are not great. Oh. A maggot from Song West. <laughs> and he grips his maw and puts it down beside him. I don't believe Tack will. Tack will be doing everything like body language wise to look meek you know he 
kind of looks across to you. What's to stop me crushing your skull? To be sure. <laughs> There's really enough people who died today. <laughs> I Please. You. Kind of lifts them all up. And then you'd hear over to one side uh, a voice call. Boom! Ableton steps forward and kind of folds his hands behind his back. What do you do? Looks you up and down. The old man's eyes scan you. I couldn't help but over here, Loramil. You came with song rest, is that right? Yes. One of the deception check. Come on, baby. Come on. Come on. This damn. You got way. this. Twenty-three. Go. Let's go. Nice. Boom. Looks across. <coughs> and I believe you'll find those seats are in the bottom right corner. The of course. Eastern portion of the hall. Do join them instead of skulking around. Tackle, bow their head, and then turn around and walk back the way they came. You take back that thumbs up I gave you, Esonia. <laughs> <laughs> and I watch you as you walk. Thick. You kind of walk past, and you start kind of passing through, and you just see the kind of crowd of your those you knew gathered in the center of the, the spell scroll just failed as you're walking past now. Yeah, I would slow down to, to you know, skulk a little bit, just a little bit more before I keep it, <laughs> just to overhear what they're saying. At that moment, Morgane would produce a second scroll that is much longer oh. and, begin, <laughs> and begin to feel down the scroll. <laughs> keep feeling and keep feeling. Oh, is and it in Braille? Moment. Or like um, Sunforge Braille? I don't know. And then pause. Uh, and then she would say, Tiefling, blue skin, horns that curl downwards, partial stone on the hip, face, and arm from failed depetrification. That's Kios. And then Fovana. roll the scroller. Tack, Tack would say that out loud next to you. What? Hello. You've just Forvana? described there's a there's a person here named Forvana. I'm sorry, I, I was eavesdropping. No, that's Kios. Forvana was the elf. Forvana was the elf? Oh shit, I'm sorry. The one, the one that got <laughs> eaten, yeah, yeah. The one that got chomped. Penny is the tiefling. She's a gold skin tiefling. Just kidding, never mind. All right, all right. Do you know something? No, I thought I did. Hmm. Are you, excuse me, are you, are you from here? Song rest. All right, well, if you're in here, you were here during the whole thing. Did you see the girl, the Ankeg, who turned to dust? That was for Vana, right? <laughs> Yes. Yeah, yeah. Okay. That was fun. That was for Vana. <laughs> <laughs> this is a very strange question. Bear with me. Do you know where she might be if she were not turned to dust? I know where she works. Excellent. Where's that? Um, Tack would sort of like side eye the. Tack would know where the. Um, the, like servants entrances yeah. and exits are uh there's kind of like side doors that go out of here um you can it basically goes up you're on the taller part of the castle which is the the feasting hall um there's a staircase that leads down into the main the hall of first kiss uh that has a, a hallway where you'd have the gonna guest uh areas and there's also a stairway that goes down to the kitchens and all of the servant quarters as well all from the next hall the place where you're all dancing well, I would say that I could uh, take you there, but it's a bit difficult to get out of here right now. 
It is, isn't it? All right. I need to go to the armory. Oh, I know where that is as well. All right. Um, it's a trek, though. I've got an idea. I'm going to head towards the Lord Keeper. Yeah. What's she doing? Who's she talking to? Uh, you'd see her kind of talking to her various uh, mages. Uh, she talks to the Chondra uh, Shalai, the tabaxi nearby her, um, before kind of going over towards the Arcanist Jontor and kind of discussing between them. And then turns towards you. <clears throat> the girl is the key. We need to get out of this room it to find impossible. her. Can you? I didn't think it was possible either, but you saw it. You saw exactly what I saw. Turned to dust. Perhaps she was a monkey or something. It's the only thing it could be. This means t it doesn't matter. We need to get out of here. We have to find the real girl. Yes. You do. Right. If we send everyone out of here right now, there's going to be a slaughter. Can you help just us get out of here? I'll kind of nod my head back towards the group. I could. I just wait. I don't see anything. She looks at you. It's not theory anymore. In Grasa. I know. There will be things out there which you will not be able to stand up against. I know. And under no circumstance. You're not cast banishment. Noted. Anyway. She turns. Lord Lepos! And he's walking. You see eyes that kind of go across her. I have some belief of that. I have studied what is going on here. Uh, if you allow me to show... You see kind of like a lot of the guards like start looking over, kind of confused, giving you guys a moment break to slip away. I'll walk back to the group. All right. I think that will buy us a moment if we can slip out. Follow me. Um... <laughs> Tack will take them to the nearest servant's exit. Okay. Um, you go out the kind of the front door there, uh, the kind of side door, and it leads onto this small, just like overhang uh, outside of the hall of the first kiss. As you enter back into the castle, to look and find out if the real Forvana is somewhere else to be found. I'm going to go ahead and take a little short break there, use the loo and whatnot. Uh, and then also, I'll edit. Uh, I'll show you guys before you do go. Um, oh. On our other screen, I'll show you the art of the wonderful hat. <gasps> yeah. Yeah. yeah! I love Look them! Look at that! <laughs> <laughs> So much. <laughs> do you love we were, them more after than the last Zonia? episode the we were same. like yes, Brie loves them <laughs> after the last episode me and Dodger were like well we didn't get you your reveal in the first one so <laughs> I, she had to spend the entire week awesome. pretending it was gonna happen yeah. I did just That's see okay. in chat a uh, uh, height check please height yeah height check, check. Yeah. yeah true yeah, height check, check. Uh, tax, tax more like 5'10 ish mm -hmm. <laughs> Still tall. Not Still as tall. tall. But not, but not six tall. I did confirm with Joe that I would Still be tall. able. <laughs> I did confirm with Joe that I would be able to, to yes. change into someone that's yeah. tall. Yeah, you can turn you that's can turn so to cool. medium and small creatures for sure. Um and, and six five is still medium. Uh yeah. Uh okay. Uh we're gonna go ahead and get yourself some drinks and whatnot. Uh and we'll be back for the other half of the episode in just five or so minutes. All right, we're right back, guys. Okay. Wrong screen, chats. This screen. I forgot we got a cool screen for this. Uh, let me just quickly run a push and ad break as well, Chef. You guys. Um, so that we can push that. And then I need to just alter our little middle character reel. Right, let me push an ad break to try and push back any pre-rolls even further. And there we go. By the way, let me thank some subs actually here whilst we've got a moment. Um, 
But I really should go and use the loo and stretch my legs. Uh, so I'm not an idiot. Zernuk, thank you so much for the four months in a row on phase. Thank you so much for the prime. I appreciate that, Revcom. Thank you so much for the... Oh, let me... Just... I don't think I muted myself. Uh... Revcom, thanks so much for the four months. Dr. Gust, thanks so much for the Prime. Crazy Silver, thanks so much for the new sub. I appreciate Zafety for the 12 months. Jonah for the news. Uh, yeah, new sub. Thank you so much for that. Uh, Zandanius, thanks so much for the three months. I appreciate it. Ice Lord, thanks so much for the new sub. Kriken, you wonderful man. Good to see you, my friend. Thanks so much for the 70 months, buddy. And Red Hellion, thank you so much for the 16 months. All right, I'm going to use the loo, and then we'll be back soon. Okay, chat, we'll be coming back up in just a moment. That's part two of episode two. Mute now, chat, and bring us back up into the episode. Guys, can you guys hear my typing now, by the way? Hello. Sorry. Hi. Hello. Yeah, slightly, Sam. Hey. Sorry, I got in the ring. Yes, Sam, we can. I've been trying to fix it for like a fucking ever. I know. I'm sorry, <laughs> man. Um, no, colorful fingers. I'm sorry. Right. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I'm sorry. Uh, okay. Bringing ourselves back up. We've now got the new art reel to show the real you. Nice. Um, Look at really that. Cool. I had That's I had it enabled as like character portraits fake for the last one, and then this one. <laughs> <laughs> character portraits real. That's funny. Um, <laughs> so, bring us back up into where we left off. Uh, you had just kind of seen Lawkeeper Linear step up to the front um, and cause a distraction. I do actually. Uh, I'll give you this Dodger because. Um, Technically, you would be able to know this. Um, I'll give you context to what, what it is. But this is basically the blueprint of the, the castle. So to help you kind of oh, okay. around it. Oh. Um, Sick. Okay. Um, it's just sending across now. So. What are you doing as a group? You're all kind of 
together, clustered together after having cast that spell and, and failing, and, and, and Lawkeeper and Linny has gone up to the front, distracting. Others are kind of gathering around. Guards are helping move some of the other people to the side. The two captured ones are over to the side, slightly kind of waking up and a little bit groggy now. Um, okay, so we're in the... You, we're in the... To, you just went, said you went to the, the hall, didn't you? Um, we're in the hall now, right? Hall of the First Kiss? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, you would have just slipped down to like the uh, right. side of the Hall of First Kiss, so you're uh, mm -hmm. kind of coming out on it. Um, uh, closer to where the hallway breaks off, where all of the guest hallway is, um, on the on the western portion. Um, there's almost like a little servant's kind of staircase and overlook, which gets you around the sides of the building. It's almost like um, like a gutter that's designed for them to kind of move around to not disturb the main portion of it. Um, okay. Heading into the... And I know... Yep. Yeah. Sorry. No, no, you can say... I was going to say, I know that... Torvana was primarily a like a handmaiden, right? Yes. Would I know where specifically they would hang out when they're not needed or where they would keep their things? All of the servants mostly live by the kitchens and in the seven quarters, which is uh, located below. Um, mm -hmm. So going down through the, the kitchen's uh, entrance uh, by the balcony across the hall of the first kiss is probably your best bet. Um, okay. To finding anyone who might be down there. Um, in the as you kind of step out into the the hall, uh, there's closest to you, closest to where you are, because you're quite close to where you all sat and met for the first time as a group. You would see a few bodies that have been kind of moved to one side and they're dead, and then a few injured. The hall's not filled up. There's a few corpses which have kind of been scattered to the side. Some guards. Some servants. Maybe about seven in total. Closest to you, though, kneeling beside two of the bodies, looking over two non-guards, one in kind of light chainmail and another in kind of a, um, a half plate. Um, you see this woman who's kneeling down in quite symbolic cleric gear, uh, almost robes with like almost portions of writing and elvish across it. It's a tiefling with light pink skin, um, horns which kind of come up almost perfectly identical on both sides going around, devilish. She kind of sits down, looming over the two bodies, sadly. In one corner closest to the front gates uh, and the main doors, you would see two guards kind of arguing as they've got three people in front of them, kneeling down, their blades kind of at the ready as they're arguing between the three kind of begging for their lives. I sat there and at the far end, across the quiet dance hall, which has nothing on it at all. It's almost eerily clean and, and, and quiet. By the kitchen doors, you can see um, a cook is kind of pressed up against the wall, staring down, and another, a, a halfling is kind of Looking at the door, pacing back and forth. The three kind of scenarios in this room. Okay. Um, Otherwise, I think as we walked. Yeah, sorry, just just say as well, just and to tell you, you your exits as well. You've got the balconies on the mm -hmm. far eastern end. Uh, you've got a doorway quite close to you that leads off to the the guest halls, up a couple of stairs to the the kind of guest rooms, and you've got the main door at the the southern end, and then also the kitchen's doors by the balcony door. Yeah, sorry. You go and dress us, sorry. Yeah. Um, okay, so <clears throat> I think as we start to go into the hallway and whatever, um, Indrasa would say, all right, there's a lot to understand about what's going on here, and I don't have the time to explain. So the very short version is that reality is one thing, you can have fake realities. You can hide something somewhere else. In order to do that, you need an anchor. What I just found out today is that it can be a person. <laughs> you have a fake thing. This will make sense later. And what we're walking as we're talking. <laughs> um, it got destroyed. Just a before she got in. destroyed. Where are you walking? Because there's very specific things happening around the room. I think we just dark. came into the hallway. This would have been literally as we just walked out. Unless so. I was, unless I was stopped, 
attack would start walking towards the kitchens. Okay. All right. So I think um, I'll fin- she'll finish her sentence and she'll say, she was fake. That's why she turned into dust. We need to find the real her. And then everything that was fake in this bubble just gets sucked back down and our reality okay. is fine. Before that, I need my armor. Good I need point. my yeah. blade. Looks at tack. Okay. Um, all right. Which direction do we need to go for the armory then? Uh, it's in the, it's near all the guest halls. It's, uh, it's in that hallway. Um, the armory's kind of a, its own kind of um, ironed off kind of doorway uh, near all of the guest rooms. Not too far away. So on the western okay. portion of the map, you'll see. Yeah. Uh, they'll suddenly stop walking and sort of like reorient themselves and then point towards a, a different exit and then start walking them that way. Yeah. You'd be able to push into the, the, the guest hallway. Um, you can see on the on the floor in here, as you step through, it's it's quiet. A long hallway filled with rooms after rooms after rooms to your left. Um, blood stains on the ground, no bodies. And up ahead of you is the closed off door, um, ironclad door with a small kind of like visor that can be lifted up and, uh, and down from the inside and a great kind of handle that's almost reminiscent of a vault, kind of clasped shut. Um, the armory is, other than the door, looks like it's kind of one of the guest rooms uh, and it looks closed off right now. No one's outside it, no one's in front of it. This, uh, this is the place? This is it. I have no idea how to get in there, but this is the room. Is uh, just like walking up and trying to open it. This is locked, right? This is a sealed door. Yeah. You can tempt it. You want... uh, well, um, uh, any of you have uh, the key to uh, to the door? I'm going to very obviously pat a fancy dress with no pockets. No, I don't have the key to the armory of Crown Heart Hall, I'm afraid. We will step forward. Well, uh... <laughs> If you want to try to brute force it, that also works, V. Uh, otherwise, I uh, she'll try to kick it, it down. A, okay, I I'm gonna give it a shot. Athletic check. Step out of the way while offering to try to pick it open. Oh, uh, what did you say, Joe? Athletic check. It's gonna be a very high DC. Athletic check. Okay. Okay. Now twenty. Go. Fourteen. <laughs> Your foot kind of bounces off of it. There's a moment of silence as it can. <laughs> you see the shutter from the inside come down with the, the three iron bars in front of it, and you hear a voice. Oh, great. Get, get the fuck away! <clears throat> I'm not opening this door! Well, uh, listen, we need to get inside to get, uh... Yes, I'm weapons. sorry, who's this we're speaking to? It doesn't fucking matter! I know! I heard... I saw... People killing each other, I bet. I'm not coming out. You don't We're not asking to you to come out. These people need to have their weapons. Like you said, there's monsters everywhere. Please, just open up. You can close the door immediately after. It wasn't fucking monsters I saw. It was people stabbing people. How do I know you're not them? <laughs> Tackle like... I'm not holding anything. What's your name? Guruma. My name is Sir Morgaine. I'm a knight of Kaelin. I need my armor to help the people. See, so he doesn't see you, by the way, Tack, because he's not putting his head up against the thing. He's almost like pulled it down. He's like hiding. It oh. should be blue and gold. What a persuasion check. Come on, baby. I'm not good at those guys. I or am I? <laughs> oh. Seven. Twenty-six. Oh. This dude nice. says I'm not good at those yeah. and has fucking a plus seven to persuade me. <laughs> I no, I don't do those. Welcome to the charisma life. I haven't set. played a charisma character yeah, in a yeah. while, guys, okay? <laughs> you hear him go. Yeah, I see the armor. That's all I need. You're a knight. <clears throat> I'm a knight. You see this kind of moment brief of just a flash of green as this eye kind of pops up. Looks at the window and like looks back down. 
And the calm as it looks again. What if we all stand over there, away from the door? Yeah, you can just pass our stuff out for us and um, we'll be on our way. And leans back. The shot goes back up. And then you hear... And then the door... And it opens outward towards you. And you see, kind of, in light guard armor, um, helmet off, covered in sweat, kind of pulling around the neck, causing a bit of a rash. Um, an orc guard, who's kind of husks a little bit, kind of pushing against his lips, where he's been biting against him, causing him a bit of bleeding. Um, hair, kind of wispy, young. I was like, oh, I'm sorry, I should have let you in. Uh, yes, yeah, come get your things. He's kind of like shakily holding like a, a battle axe in his hands. I thought I thought you might be more of them. He steps aside and the armory is filled um, with weapons, uh, uh, long swords, battle axes, halberds, uh, spears, uh, the armors you gave up, the weapons you gave up. Um, Morgan would place a hand on his shoulder, steady him. You did well. It's kind of you to say, but no, I didn't. I should have been helping, but I didn't know what was going on. I got scared and I just slammed myself in here with it. I was going to wait it out in here. It's a bloody coward. You made sure no one else could get weapons. <laughs> Not intentionally. But I appreciate it. At least... At least we have a knight on our side. The rest of you as well. I don't know what's going on out there. There was fighting in the hallway, a few of them stabbing each other. Uh, two of the guards, they tried to get in here, but I wouldn't let them in. They, they were dragging three of the, the people fighting into the other room. I think they're going to execute them. I was too scared to open up. He kind of just leans up against the wall and lets you kind of go in through and rifle for your things. Which you can grab all of your armor and your, your weapons and anything you, you passed across. And Dross is going to <clears throat> take off her heels. <laughs> I'll just kind of sadly put them on a table in the armory and leave them. If I see any like regular shoes that aren't like, you know, armor boots or whatever, I'll grab them otherwise. Yeah, you can, buy, you can grab some shoes. Uh, well, mm, they're probably leathered shoes, like part of like a kind of a tabard outfit. Yeah? Yeah. In this armory, is there stuff like studded leather or anything like that? Um, it would be mostly chain mail uh, and then basic leather because it's just kind of general guard okay. wear. Um, so nothing, nothing super uh, uh, kind of strong. A couple of sets of leather for archers. V would uh, um, well, grab her sword, sorry, and no, uh, no. rest her forehead against the hilt, like saying a silent prayer before returning it to its place on her back. Okay. M Morgane would just like unabashedly change into her armor <laughs> mm -hmm. in the middle of the room <laughs> after finding it. There we go. I just kind of changes it. <laughs> moves his head away, doesn't watch. Oh, sorry. Um, yeah, you, you regain your army, you gain, regain your ACs, your, your weapons, uh, feel free to, to rearm yourselves. Um, my room isn't anywhere near here, right? Your official room, no, uh, uh, the one that you'd have been getting changed in is, uh, cause the room that you'd, you'd be kind of staying in would be up with Olimar's room, um, even if slept in, slept in separate rooms, uh, sorry, beds. Um, but the, the guest room where you were getting changed with Penny is just down the hall. Okay. I know we had a while back, we had talked about me like um, hiding clothing for when I changed. Yes. Uh, could we say that that, that, that was would in be the guest in... room? Yeah, you could. Yeah, because uh, what the guest room essentially is to you would be mostly a place to kind of get changed and do like makeup and everything like that uh, away from mm -hmm. Olimar. Um, but it could essentially, because of the relationship you have with him, be a kind of a, a practically your main room, if you'd like to call it that. 
Yeah, you can okay. definitely have clothing there for sure. Yeah, I would I would slip in there really quick and change clothing then. Well, if you're heading down the hallway, um, uh, can I get a perception check? Yeah. I Did you me. like slip away from the group to head down? Because I think Carlisle would be, like would be worried if people were like leaving on their own. Um, just I guess in case, like something was out there. I guess I was assuming that it was like close enough that it wouldn't be alarming. I was going into another room, but it's it's further down. So this is a hallway that has about like probably a good like twelve rooms along the side. So it's a far long hallway. It stretches the full kind of length of the courtyard. My rolls are garbage today. It's a ten. <laughs> no. Yeah, you would... If mm -hmm. I think that if Carlisle, unless you stopped him, he would be like, "Well, I don't think anyone should be uh, split up and run off on their own. I can. If you got something you need to." Go do. I can. I can come with you. Uh, I. I just didn't. I figured you guys were still grabbing stuff. I, I didn't want anything to change. They never took anything off of me. Um. Sure. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And a perception and check from you, Carlo. That's what I was. That's what I was. Come on, baby. For. Uh. Fifteen. In. You would be walking past. One of the rooms, and to the left, you'd hear like. For a moment, you you know the guest rooms are probably going to be completely empty for the most part because all of the guests would have been in the hall. When you hear from just two rooms down as you're walking past, you hear a suddenly clattering of a of a plate and goes <laughs> as it goes to a side. And you hear from just inside. Shit! Carlisle's gonna like put his finger up to his mouth like to be quiet and he's gonna try to like stealth to get a look at who who made that sound or like creep into that room okay uh, 15 you open that room very slightly and slowly kind of slip in so you can kind of like observe the room it is a guest room on the inside, so it doesn't have like a a, a, a window, but they do have like an almost like a false window that creates like a it's got like a light enchantment around it, so it can kind of give the illusion that you're you're on an outside room. Um, there's a double bed, there's a closet for changing. There seems to be some sort of like clothing rack beside that with like um, a long draping uh, uh, cloak down it, uh, almost like someone's kind of cloak that they'd wear uh, as a knight. You can see. Um, a bag on the on the bed, kind of tied up, um, and then also a little dressing corner room. But it looks to be empty otherwise. Or a perception check. Or investigation check. Perception or investigation or investigate? Uh, either or would work for this. Either or. Okay. 18. Let's roll something. <laughs> In the corner... Um, over with the, uh, the cloth hanger and the cloak. It's casting a dark shadow. You can just see, just below it, these small hairy feet standing at the bottom of it, but the cloak is kind of wrapped around something. Or someone's hiding. Carlisle's gonna look over attack and cut a gesture to the feet. You, uh, you recognize those hairy feet there? Do, do I recognize those hairy feet? <laughs> you do not recognize those That's hairy foot feet. That's a connoisseur. They've got like three <laughs> large toes, uh, almost like, uh, uh, they've almost got the same kind of uh, look as like bare feet. They're quite bulbous and like wide set. Um, but there's two of them just kind of in the corner. Attack will be like, I know this is shocking, but feet aren't really my area. Well, I was just checking. I don't want to assume anything. Uh, <laughs> we just met. Well, I don't know. <laughs> do we? We're, we're, what are you looking for? Because honestly, frankly, I don't really feel like startling whoever this is and maybe getting stabbed. I just need different clothes. <laughs> like pick at the. Well, then that's the place to get him, I guess. Sad. Want to handle this, or uh, <laughs> you want me to? Um, I actually, there's another room that has the clothes that I need. I'm pretty sure. So we could. I mean, this person's obviously hiding. We could just leave them. 
Yeah, they'll probably be fine. Or not. Maybe, I mean, maybe they won't be fine. And maybe we should take them back to the armory if they are uh, how friendly. Qu- how quiet are you talking? I was going to say. <laughs> uh, he's trying to keep it pretty down. But okay. they are also in the room. So I'd be done yeah. with stealth check for the fact yeah. that we're having a roll, conversation roll a while looking check at me them. Just to hear like how much you're going to keep your voice down. Uh, eight. Okay. That's realistic. <laughs> I'll also roll. Yep, cool. <laughs> Survive. Like conversation in this room <laughs> yeah. while about this Just dude. a whole ass conversation. <laughs> Do the feet move? You just you just hearing it. Yep. Yeah. Go ahead, just keep moving. <laughs> Amazing. Uh do you Do you wanna hide in the armory? It's open right now. Yeah, probably safer than hiding inside of a coat. <laughs> You see this kind of figure pop out of the coat? It's not very tall. Maybe the side of a half thing. Three and a half feet to, to four feet tall. Um, you probably don't want to see you probably not seen one of these before, Tack. Um uh, also I've got to change your, your tag on your camera one sec. <laughs> the, the real one. Um, there you go. Uh, but you have Carlisle. Uh, as they are frequented in the north. Uh, this is a boblot. They are uh, essentially walking furballs with eyes and a mouth. Uh, you can see this kind of pull down Ooh. fur with these kind of big, great big eyes, rounded eyes. No visible nose. Uh, mouth kind of like folded in with the hair. Uh, and hands and feet that kind of just pop out. Um, four finger hands uh, and, and just as fur as the feet. Uh, small in size. This one wears a hood that kind of wraps around with holes cut out for the feet and arms. Um, and it kind of is a bit too tall for it, so it flops around in a circular motion on the top. Um, but it kind of leans out and goes, Well, I'm not really hiding, but uh, if you just pretend you didn't see me, I'd appreciate that. Well, nice, easy. <laughs> Deck yeah, will turn around and start talking. do anything. If you want to stay out here and maybe some other maniac comes by and kind of steps that's, forward that's fine but there again there is a place you could be a little safe <laughs> no i'm not looking for safety mate i'm looking to uh, you know get out of here take, take what i can while i got it you're not you're not guards are you <laughs> no and this honestly is none of my business <laughs> <laughs> oh fair enough he steps towards the bag and you hear him kind of pick it up and hear the clinking of different kind of sounds that and it throws it off his hat, and you see a hilt sticking out of it. So it's, uh, uh, starts tying it to his, his robe. Well, then I appreciate it. Uh, Good for him. <laughs> uh, if you don't mind, I'm going to slip out. Uh, oh, for your troubles. Uh, and he kind of leans in, and he pulls out this small citrine, uh, this little kind of blue gem, kind of tosses it your way. <laughs> Carlisle will like, catch it and kind of look at it for a second. Yeah, uh, just... Uh, just be careful. You're going to have to figure out a way to pop the bubble. Uh, <laughs> the gonna... bubble? Oh, uh, the bubble. Yeah, the, uh, the uh, bubble that's currently uh, got us all trapped inside this strange reality that we now find ourselves. Well, I don't know what you're babbling all about, mate, but I'm just going to use a door. There, the side. Yeah. <laughs> all right, well, uh, nice one. Uh, and he starts yeah, like, nice, kind of uh, nice stepping one. a bit closer towards the door. If you don't, I'm gonna push past. <laughs> yeah. Uh... Tax already back in the hallway. <laughs> Carl, I was like waiting in the hallway for Tax to come out. I was just like kind of standing at the doorway for waiting for this bubble to yeah. leave. <laughs> he yeah. kind of steps past and he turns. And he, he walks a bit backwards as he's going down the hallway. It's going past your room, um, Tack. Uh, straight to the end of the hallway, there's almost like a post stone gate that would lead guards to kind of go around as a side gate. And he goes, all right, well, uh, yeah, bid you do. Yeah. Good luck, bud. Unhooks, like, the door without, like, turning around. So he doesn't put his back to you. And then, like, <laughs> pushes it back up against it and then turns the last minute and closes the door and rushes off. Um, okay, Zonia would. Not Zonia. Oh, my God. Tack. <laughs> It's been five years. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> my sense of identity is all fucked up. Um, I'm sorry. Yeah, uh, Tack would gesture down the hall, following, and um, and uh, and I think go into the room, but kind of cautiously in case Penny's in there. 
Give me a stealth check. Okay. <laughs> that one. Oh my yeah. god! You step in, and because oh no. you're going too cautious, you accidentally knock your elbow against this like small urn. You go, <laughs> and you hear bursting out of the closet. Kind of, you see this golden skin teeth and just rush out, and she's grabbed this hairbrush. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> go away! Go away! This is my room. Who are you? Tech has this, like, kind of sad expression. We're not going to hurt you. Okay? We're just grabbing something really quickly. They were killing them out there. How do I know you're not part of that? She's kind of shaking. She's holding an air, like, literally just a hairbrush. There's nothing sharp on it. She's going to grab whatever she could. Um, Tack will kind of slowly approach her. Look. It's safe out there right now. The armory is open. You can hide in there. Okay. 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 I'll, okay. I'll I'll walk you there myself. Okay. She pulls up again. <laughs> if you're tricking me, I promise I'm not tricking you. Okay. What a persuasion. You'll be safe. Please, God. <laughs> Twenty-three. Yes. She lowers the hairbrush. Did you see my? You see my lady's on you out there. She. She fine. I was, I was preparing her dress when I heard the sound. But. but... Um, I'm not sure, but uh. She'd be a in the lot hall. of people. Long blonde hair, tall, um, beautiful, all... radiant. There's a lot of people in there still. She might be fine, okay? Okay, okay, okay. Okay. She steps out away from the room. You can see, like, the, the closet's open where she's almost trying to push in and, like, hide. And uh, some of the clothing that you've kind of left out is on the bed where she's kind of pushed it to try and get in there, but not enough room in there. Um, but otherwise, you'd see all your clothing. Yeah, Tech would uh, kind of throw together a little... Would change clothes really quickly. Mm -hmm. Um... And then, um, yeah, and then sort of gently guide her back to the armory. Okay, yeah. You wander back towards the armory, and um, she kind of steps inside, uh, recognizes the guard. They start kind of having a little whispered squeak. Oh, good to see you. You know, kind of step over to the side. Yeah, they came and by. They've got a night with them, kind of calming her down. Um, but yeah, you rejoin the group. Where would you right. like to go next? Um, Morgane would have, you know, through the, the weight and the intricate damage to the armor, identified which one was uh, hers and put it on, and then found Kittick's armor beside it, and she would carry it to the guard. Mm hmm He looks to you. What, what, what do you want me to do with this? I would like you to see it to the Dread Vault. Oh, oh, I, 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 yes, I, I have said that. She'll reach kind of. into a pouch and produce 15 gold. Oh, uh, no, 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 it's... There's no need. Um, she kind of looks at the armor, realizing what it must mean. I'm sorry for your loss. Thank you. Places the armor over the one away. side and leans up against the wall, like reality hitting him that a knight could die here. Um, and just like wipes his face, just kind of pennies, like muttering onto him, just trying to get like some sort of sense of closure. I'll close the armory door once you've gone. I'll keep it safe in here. Only open it when the guards come by. Good idea. All right. Are we ready? Tack would be yes. kind of staring at the door, but but snap out of it. 
Right. Um, back to the kitchens then. All right. Lead on. Yeah. And I you, will. You step back out into the into the main hall of the first kiss. Uh, as you're walking along, um, the cleric is kneeling. You can just hear her kind of crying beside you, and she looks up. In her hand, she's holding a diamond. A large diamond. It's clasped inside a necklace. It's like that now opened, almost like a, almost like it's going to be turned to be opened. And she's kneeling down beside the bodies, and she looks up all of you guys. Excuse me. May I ask for some advice? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, sure. She looks down at her herself and at the two bodies in front of her. Lying in front is an elderly knight, both dead, a hobgoblin, uh, but white hair, a kind of wisping down with mutton chops on the side, tied up at the top, but blood stained. Some wounds across him, but being kind of tucked over. A couple of cuts in his armor. Um, and then beside that, uh, a younger knight, a harrigan, a, 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 a hair person, uh, similar to the Lago. Um, ears kind of flopped down, some blood caking the, the fur, lying down in kind of this, almost like this slight plated uh, mail. She's running her thumb over the diamond in the necklace. Duty says I should resurrect to Thelena. And gestures towards the hobgoblin. The other one is so young. The elder knight, he inspired so many down at the guardhouse. They thought him a hero. It's when he fell that many of the guards started to turn and flee. Come back from the dead would inspire the soldiers to fight, but... Marga, when she looks at the younger one, he was to be married within the year. Only 19 blessings to his... to his name. My duty of my chapter tells me I must resurrect my superior, but... <clears throat> to do so would with that wife of a husband a person of a full life ahead of them she looks up pleading unsure herself would the um, would the superior here be happy knowing that they were chosen over Or would they want you to save them? Morgaine nods in approval. That's the answer she would have given to. Morgaine likes that. <laughs> you see it in the top. Mm -hmm. But don't you think that the other soldiers, if they saw him come back, You spend all of your time doing your duty, right? Doing what other people say, following the rules. They're both dead. Whatever you choose is good. Choose what you feel is best. Either one is a blessing. Do you think the young one? Yeah. She 
takes the diamond. Leans over the young one. And mutters the incantation for Ray's dead. Presses it onto him. Begins casting over the course of the hour as this diamond starts fading. Into the boy. Uh, you won't find out the result of this roll. Unless you waited an hour. But I don't think we would. No. Mm -mm. Mm. She nods up to you. Thanks, kind of, between the ritual. Continues casting the ritual. I would like to flow in and out as she starts muttering the words of Ray's death. Bringing the soul back to the body. She can. Across the hall, you can hear the shouting of the two guards. I don't... All three of them. We'll just cut all their throats. You can hear the, the, the three in front kneeling down. Please, please don't do that. Please don't do that. The other one's like, look here for you. The dwarf kind of beside the other guy is like, if we do that, we're damning one of them. We'll be wrong about one of them. No! We're right there, the other two. They drive a dagger into someone here. We'll be responsible for their deaths. You kind of walk past. Do you stop, or do you want to continue? Currently, I will Morgan, stop. Morgane would stop. You can Andrasa see. would keep going. I was going to say tack would too, but if, if they stop. And then be like, fuck, and turn yeah. around. <laughs> yeah. You can see the scene. Um, <laughs> a human kind of stood up in the full guard outfit. So same with the dwarf. Um, two of them kind of look worn a little bit like the adrenaline's kicked in. Some caked dirt on them from, from running and some blood that's going to be caked. Maybe not their own, but they don't look injured. Uh, they've got three people um, in front of them, uh, all kneeling down, their hands bound behind their backs. Um, the, the first one you'd see on the left uh, is a lady wearing kind of servant outfit, um, human. Uh, she's kind of leaning across, your hair's kind of shaggy and, and, and red. Um, in the center uh, is uh, another human. Um, you can kind of see him looking down. Uh, he's wearing kind of almost like a soft kind of linen tunic at the front. His sleeve on one side is all torn, but he's been in a scuffle. His lip is kind of swelling up. Um, and the third one is a gnome. Um, with kind of bright blonde hair that's kind of almost sticking up slightly, like they've kind of trimmed it and it's, own, it's grown through. Um, and he's kind of leaning down. Ragtag gear that looks a lot more fancy. It looks like they've kind of almost like party gear, but on the cheaper end. Someone who's kind of bought a noble's garb, but almost like third hand. Um, all three of them are kind of knelt in front. Uh, and the two guards are arguing over them. They look a little bit defeated, all three worn. But all of them are, please don't, please. And the guards kind of look around. One of them looks towards you. Who's this lot? Look, we have to make a decision now. Hey, right? but if we make the do, wrong one. Do I see the magic I saw on the assassins on either of the, any of these figures? You do not. So you just hear the breath. There's no illusion. Magic. Okay. There's also to one wanna... side as well, a body. As well. Of a, um, a dead uh, uh, human man, kind of, maybe in his 30s. Uh, slight shaggy beard, but... Okay. On the screen. Uh, Look. We can't be judged for what we do here. He's off nods his head. All three. He kind of draws out his sword and you see them kind of like start to get to their feet and they go, do, do not stand, do not stand. Wait. What? Just give me a moment. Kyle. Where are the wounds on the body? Yeah, let me, uh, let me take a look. Carlisle, I'll do a medicine check on the body. Yeah, do a medicine check. 26. Uh, you can see a couple of stab wounds uh, in the back and then like one straight in the kind of like upper chest that pierces into the ribcage and like the heart uh, on the left side. Yeah, Carlisle, point those out. To the victims were, what, a woman, a dwarf, and 
I uh, know three uh, are alive. There's there's two humans and a, a gnome, and then there's a dead human lying down. The so uh, you a lot think that one of these three uh, stabbed this this one here? Two of them, actually. This dwarf kind of speaks up. I we uh we came to them scuffling over by the the armory. Uh, four people fighting. One of them was dead by the time we got up to them. The other three were in the scuffle together. There was knives being stabbed around. Uh, all of them took a few nicks each, but uh, we managed to break them up. And uh, each one of them claimed the other two were trying to kill them. Right. They've all got their own little story. And they're sticking to it. We know that uh, one or two of them are lying. I want to go close enough to the group and then draw my sword. Okay. And using blind fighting, I want to see if I can roll to determine the heartbeats of all three. Yeah. At the same time, like I'm going to be... I'd like to insight check these folks if they start talking. I do have advantage on insight checks against strangers in a place I've not been. Mm, it's true. Um, I will let you do a perception check with heartbeat, but because... You are low level, and it's it's kind of mm -hmm. it's a very high DC to hear their heartbeats. Okay. Without checking like pulse or anything like that. Uh, for you, Carlisle, they're all kind of quiet right now, like looking up, hoping. Um, but like, all three of them look like they've got pleading faces right now. Um, but readying your insight check if they start talking. Yeah. Perception shake. You can't really hear it. There's a lot of sound going on as well. You can hear clanking. The the whole, the breathing is kind of taking over. You're not really hearing the heartbeats. Um, all three of them sit down like, please. The one in the middle is, please. You have to. You can't let me die. I was being attacked. The one in the first one. Was, Why are we? She kind of like, like wipes, kind of tears with her shoulder. Lying to you. They're both lying to you. And the third one just looks down. What's that? We're all gonna die. Alright, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna Morgan would like lean into Carlisle and say Do you think the wounds are too high for a gnome? Hmm. Does Carlisle think that? From, it's high uh... up in the back and it's on the chest, yeah. It's about a good four and a half feet up. Looks a little high, honestly. That's good thinking. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm going to insight the desperation of those three to see if I can tell that, like, just any kind of, like, weirdness about it. Yeah. Give me Some, if check. someone is far more desperate because they believe that they are being mm -hmm. set up here. Uh, still not doing advantage. Uh, 23. The one in the center who spoke first uh, seems pretty heavy, set, and scared. The second one, uh, the other human who wiped the tears, seems to have been crying for a little while. And then the third one, um, the gnome, seems kind of defeated and kind of like worn out. detect lie they're all pleading for their life they all are worried they're gonna die so it's hard to kind of dissent differentiate between them i'm gonna be honest interrogations and the like aren't exactly my wheelhouse what you said about the gnome seems smart but i mean all of them want to live i'm not gonna get not much i can tell from from that. Uh, Morgan, what's turn to the guards? Where were they fighting? It was in the hallway. Uh, up by the armory, just outside. We dragged them out here. Any furniture that could be climbed on? Nothing. Uh, the hallway's mostly empty up there. And then a couple of fallen frames from the bashing against the wall. No. Uh, it was just outside the armory. They were trying to Maybe make their way in there, but all of them were shouting. It was hard to see. They were all on the floor by the time we got to them. 
That one is already dead. They kind of point to the dead body. This one. Tell me stories. You go first. Uh, human at the far left. Goes. She looks up. I, I was. I came with, with Lady Koval Ata. Of one stone. I'm a handmaiden. We were arriving late and, 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 and she was, I was preparing the, her garb. She was going to wear a different garb for the feast. And, and um, I heard the commotion in the hall. And I came running out and they attacked me after I saw them stab the man. You. The second one. I'm going to insight check these people individually if they're going to be telling stories. Okay. Uh, 16 on the first one. Uh, I'll DM you a little information that you'd see of them. Um, okay. um, take from that what you will. Uh, the second one in the middle. Um, yeah. I was catering the event. I was bringing fire lemons up to, to make fire lemon wine. Me and that one there points at the body that's turned over. You can see the kind of blood's running down the person's face. Uh, attack. Roll a perception check. Okay. You don't know anything, anything strange about the body, but you do see the blood kind of trickling down the face um, from that kind of blunt trauma. Um, okay. Me and them, there were, there were seven here. We were the ones who... We spent the entire night just moving crates. Okay? That's Fallian. That's a friend of mine. The third one... I'm going to inside check the yep. second one. 21. Okay. I'll DM you. Um, the third one, the gnome. Look, I'll be honest, I snuck in. I wanted to get in on the food and the dancing and the everything. I climbed the wall by the postern gate. And the guards were distracted. I was, I didn't want to push my luck too much and go in the feasting hall because I knew they'd be seated. And so I was coming back out the way that I came in and I came across them and they started attacking me afterwards. I saw them stab the other one. Twenty-three on the last one. Okay. Yep, and the three of them kinda of sit there. You see the guards look at you. The dwarf nods his head. Look. If we let any of them go, what if they're the ones that are going to go and drive a knife into our lord? Carlisle's going to look over to Morgane. Listen, um, the first girl who talked, it seems like they've been saying the same thing this whole time. Like they've kind of just been reiterating what's happened here, but the other two seem a little seem a little more nervous to me. I don't know so much about the uh, gnome being able to reach for all those stabs, but um, I don't know. I don't want to be the one who senses anyone to die one way or another, but uh, I got a good feeling about the first. Oh, you're muted. Muted. <laughs> you should let them know well no that's what I'm saying is that despite me <laughs> catching on to all this I don't want that blood on my hands kind of a doctor thing so I'm just letting you know you're the knight here alright <laughs> letting you know what I saw Sam I, I trust can, you uh, I can send you the thing that Joe sent me just so you have the exact text but I kind no. of just summarized it Mor Morgane is gonna trust you 
Okay. She is innocent. Thank you, the other one. No, 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 no. <sighs> the kind of the, the soldier draws out his sword. You sure? All right. They go to get up. I have no reason to doubt. And you just see the soldier kind of stab his sword down into the gnome. <laughs> gargles. The other one strikes down with the axe and the on the middle one. You see the girl to the the like <laughs> gets covered with blood. <laughs> okay. Oh my god. Oh my god, by the gods. By the gods. Dealer's luck, I got stuck here. <laughs> and you'd see as the kind of dwarf steps around and unties and stands up. <sighs> Where do I go? The guards kind of look, uh, bad, bad. Just sit, sit over by the side over there. We're waiting Wait. for her. Where's your lady? She, uh, she's inside. She'd be in the feasting hall. Let's fetch her. Very well. God, look. Oh. Can the, the, the dwarf and I, hey, what, what does she look like? Um, she's, uh, she's a fire genasi, so she's got long red hair, looks like it's almost embers, um, uh, a reddish skin as well, um, uh, almost a pinkish red. Uh, she, she's likely inside, and uh, I'm not sure where she was sitting. The dwarf nods, okay, I'll go get her. He wanders on. Would it be normal for her to not know where her lady was sitting? Um... The handmaidens weren't allowed in there, right? They went inside. Yeah. Okay. Did we... Did any of us see a fire genasi in there? Mm, roll a... I'll, I'll say roll a wisdom check. Just straight wisdom check. So it's kind of like a memory check. Oh, no. Nah. It's more kind of like, like intelligence nope. is technically like red memory, <laughs> but wisdom is kind of that like <laughs> passive almost memory. Look at that. It glows. The fire. <laughs> the glows, fire. Yeah. yeah, with an 18, uh, Brie, uh, 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 not that you recall. Please don't go say anything. <laughs> she just kind of stands there, the other guy goes, all right, do you want to help me move these bodies then over to the par? And it grabs one by the leg. You help serve the justice. Come on, come on, give me a hand. I'm not. I'm oh, not fuck. moving a body. You just see him start dragging this, the gnome across the hand. The blood kind of streaking across it as he brings him over towards the bodies. Um, and she goes, Please, sirs, I am so scared. I don't. Where can I go to just get some water or something or lie down? Let's wait for your lady. All right. I do not think she will come. How long do you wait? What kind of room are we in? The hall, the main hall. Can we just run? We're in the hall. Yeah. The, main, the hall. It's like out in the open, yeah. yeah. So the guard went to fetch to find the Ganassi? Yep. I think Andrasa is definitely starting to uh, pace a little bit and just kind of keeps looking around to see if mm. another one of those creatures comes in or she hears anything. Mm. Okay. Pack also looks nervous, <laughs> like just standing around. Just as a warning, by the way, if I get knocked out of power somehow, there's a huge storm going on right now. Oh. oh. I see the lightning flash in my entire room. Um, mm -hmm. I thought you were watching a movie. So you, so you wait a few minutes? <laughs> mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, as, as like time goes on, Carlisle's getting paler because despite the fact that he said like he doesn't want to make this call, the way that Morgane worded it definitely made it seem like his <laughs> words had been the exclusive reason yeah. that this played out like this. And uh, he's going to feel very guilty if it plays out wrong. Hmm. The dwarf kind of 
wanders back over with a confused expression. Ah. Uh, I swear that Lady Koval Aita didn't make it to the party. She was invited, but she denied her invitation, according to the other lords in there. Hmm. hmm. Interesting. The lady in front of you. Looks at lady. <laughs> Glory to I'm the skin this got. <laughs> she just kind of fills the bait going to... May her glory guide my death. And she falls against your blade. You see the guard. What did she knit. say? Glory to the skinless god. Oh. Do I know what that refers to? Do any of us? No. You. Smiles it away mentally. See the guard kind of step back and kind of grab his head. Oh, fuck. Hmm. <clears throat> well, that oh. could have gone better. She kind of grabs her by the legs, and the other dwarf helps lift the other body over to the. Hang bottom. on. And stop. What is she? What is she wearing? Just regular old. Wedding girl, just kind of just various, uh, just kind of servants' clothes, like just dusty kind of gown, almost. Um, what you expect someone think... to kind of be cleaning floors with and whatnot. I'm sure there's nothing on her, but if there were any pockets or anything in dress, I would recommend we check those, because who the fuck is a skinless god? You can double check. Um, sure. Uh, roll an investigation check. 19. Uh, you start patting her down, you find nothing on her at all. Uh, hmm. But when you like go up her sleeve, you can feel like the skin feels a bit different underneath. And so when you yeah, pull up any her sleeve, marks or anything? you can see there's three flayed markings where they've kind of she's flayed her own skin off in this kind of almost Gross. like uh almost like a cross pattern with one line down the middle as well i'm sorry i, I, I should have just kept my mouth shut no carlisle it's fine we call that the knight's dilemma and chances are more than not that all three were guilty yeah well <laughs> I'm kind of supposed to be in the business of not guiding people to kill people, so uh, I should have stayed out of it. I'm sorry. Do any of you know who the skinless god is? Heard that? Also, we do any of us know who the skinless god is? Yeah, do any of us know who the skinless? I want to roll a religion check. You can roll one. <laughs> I can tell you right now, uh, no okay. check's going to get it because get it. Uh, oh, okay. it's not a known guy. I failed the religion check. <laughs> <laughs> I would have told you, if you got a nat 20 on that, you would have still got nothing. <laughs> but uh, just to give you guys, if, if, if I tell you to roll for it, there's a chance, I should say, or sometimes I'll bluff it. But in, in this regard, no, it's not a known god at all. All right. Um, yeah, if they started walking again... Uh, Tack would, over their shoulder, be like, I don't know if this matters or not, but Forvana's been here for, like, years. Like, Thank longer you. than a lot of people have been alive here. Like, how many years? At least a hundred. I, that, that's what I've been told. Right. Do you know, does she travel? Does she have any... Does she have a leave? She's... Her behavior was always very <clears throat> erratic. She was, she was weird. She didn't talk much. She stared off into space a lot. Um, I don't know if you're if you're saying that she's the key to all of this and she's been here that long. What? So it's a it's something that's been in the works for that long. I don't. I didn't realize you could use people. That doesn't... Nothing says that you could use a person, something alive that doesn't... I've never read anything like that. It doesn't make sense. The law keeper was aghast at the idea, but we saw her turn into dust. It's obviously her. Hmm. When you split things apart... Everything's fine, as long as your fake thing is okay. And that fake thing... I don't... We just need to find her. You're talking in tongues. 
It's all theoretical. It's not... <sighs> You've not heard of reality magic because it's been banned. No one is allowed to study it. So we're all in the dark. I know bits. And I'm scratching the surface. This is beyond... You can use people. I... It's... I don't know. I don't... I don't know who did it. I don't know what they were... I don't... I don't know. Well, let's find her. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. Okay. You said there were people at the kitchen entrance. Does it look like yeah. they're trying, they're avoiding the kitchen? Yeah. It looks like they've kind of like, one of them's like pacing in front of the door, which is closed off. And the other one's just kind of leaning into the wall. Uh, a chef, he's a, a earth genasi, so kind of this brown cracked skin, um, wearing kind of blood covered overalls. Um, his chef's hat kind of like folded in his hands. He's up against the wall. Uh, this younger halfling who's kind of wearing half kind of chef like gear, um, a little lighter. Um, is kind of pacing back and forth. He's kind of bald headed, um, but like still quite a youthful face. Um, slight small kind of mustache that's kind of curled down his face. He sits around. Um, well, we didn't do anything wrong though, did we? I mean, we're alive, we're alive. Oh. Chef Otro, Chef Otro, are you, are you okay? You'd recognize the, the uh, both of them. Uh, attack because you've spent enough time in these halls. Uh, chef Otro mm. is the Genasi cook. Um, he's kind of one of the lead chefs uh, down here. Um, and Anton is a, a kind of a lower chef. He's an assistant chef to, to Otro. Um, he's kind of pacing back and forth. Um, I mean, they'll, they'll clear down there and we will be absolutely okay. You know, it'll be okay. Otro is just not like responsive at all. It looks across all of you. Oh, um... I wouldn't go down there. <laughs> Why? What's happening? Something was down there. Some things were down there. Everyone's dead. I'm sorry. It's not your fault. <laughs> um, um, we're we're looking for someone. You're sure everyone down there is dead. He looks down glumly. Um, pretty sure. I'm sorry. I I wouldn't ask unless this was very important. Have you seen Forvana? No, no. We sent her up ages ago. She came up to the feasting hall. And you haven't seen her at all since then. No. Well. No. No, but. Um. We did, we did, I mean, there was a, where everything kind of went off. We, we did see, there was a, there was a man who was in the kitchens with us and he, he was, he was talking about her. Um. Talking about her how? Like, like, deal with her. And he would, he'd be outside. Who was he talking to? I know, some, some uh, elderly woman. She, I think she was new staff, uh, 50s or something. She, creepy lady. Uh, I didn't mean to eavesdrop or anything, but she just kept laughing to herself. What color was her hair? Graying, um... I don't know, it's just... I didn't really recognize her. I didn't pay too much of an attention. She wore like a small hood up. And the man, you didn't recognize the man either? No, it was a tiefling man. I think he came down as one of the entourage or someone else. They brought four The old lady. Hola. Glasses? Do you remember anything about her? I don't think I... I don't know, she... What color was the tiefling? A uh, blue. It was weird because he had this marking on his face. A marking? Like what? Dirt? Like I don't know, some sort of scar that like, caked on. Like it had burn mark, but it, 
And I sealed over it's the them. Head. Where did the man go? Uh, well, this was before we were serving everything. We told him to get out of the kitchens. Um, I only remember because he, they were they were talking over to the side, and then we told him to fuck off. I mean, Otro did. Uh, he, you know, he can get. Um, uh, and then and then he got, and he wandered outside. He was saying he had to go outside. Outside, but not this direction. No, I mean, it was only about ten minutes or so afterwards that. Everything went dark in there, and there were these things on the wall, like a okay. like a slime on the wall, and then these rounded creatures with claws and teeth, and almost like pulsating bodies started grabbing people. And when we ran out, they Ten bodies just on the ground of all the different servers and and, and our, uh, we ran up the stairs. We got out. Everyone else was dead. We could hear them screaming. It's not. You don't have to feel bad for protecting yourself. You're alive. That's important. That's not why it feels bad. Janassi kind of leans his head up. You left Sultan behind us. I didn't. Yes, you did. You slammed the door on her. She fell. She's dead. It's like the halfling kind of looks down. Uh, Look, we do what we have to do to survive, right? Sometimes things happen very quickly. Um, Tech will turn uh, back to look at the group. Some more gain. We need to yes. follow, right? Yes. All right. Move, please. To Anton. Yeah, he steps aside. Yeah, and Tuck will keep walking. Okay, you can open up the door. Um, you can see they're both kind of like shoulders raised. Um, waiting kind of just as you go in, up against the wall, you can see this halfling woman um, with her hands kind of over her mouth. And she sees you and she kind of rushes in. Pushes herself, Sultan, and she. Why is it? You fucking left me in there. You left me to die in there. There's fucking things. I didn't know. I didn't know. And she starts like, to argue and like pushes up against them. We didn't know. We didn't know. He's just gonna pushes up against the other half and just kind of holds him against the wall. Fucking left me to die. And they start kind of getting into an argument, leaving the door open. The staircase down looks like there's blood at the bottom, pulled probably twenty feet down. And the kitchens are further down below. Yeah, keep walking. Okay. Hello, Jack. Yep. You wander down into the kitchens. The stairs kind of below you. It's about 15 stairs down before you start to get ones which are kind of where the blood's kind of pulled. And you can see a series of servant bodies across the ground all like lined up against the walls they've been tossed around now and each one of them is dimly lit down here um if at all lit as it was the daytime beforehand every single one of the bodies down here now though has had their head eaten into and their brain removed Stairs cool. lead further down towards the kitchens. Can I get March in order? Oh my. I'm in front because I'm leading. <laughs> I'm in the very I... back. <laughs> <laughs> I love I'm you. I'm second to last with Desmond. <laughs> yeah, I think Carlisle will be pretty in the middle. 
Okay. Mm-hmm. Same. Okay. I'll Maybe. be second. Okay. Yeah, the girl will be behind. Do we have to be single file? Little, yeah, it's like a single difference. file uh, hallway that you do right. down, yeah. Um, okay, so Tack, Morgane, Carlisle, Indrasa, V, Desmond. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You okay. go down the kind of stairwell. You can see it's kind of wider set stairs to make it easier for people to, to deliver the food up and down. Um, and you wander down past the bodies, which leads off into the servant quarters and down into the kitchen area. You can see in this room... The chimney kind of almost entrances where food is kind of dumped, old food is dumped out into the into the um, streets below. You can see where they've been kind of almost torn and scratched, like the scratch marks going down those. Against the wall, you can see almost like plastered, this kind of almost like ichor that is stuck against the wall. And various body parts are kind of strewn against it, almost like something's glued them against the walls. The kitchens look like they've come through a scuffle. Body parts down here are just kind of non-existent, just pools of blood. And all the pieces are just against the walls. The heads, again, without brains. Another stairwell leads off to the side. The kitchens are silent. This one you'd know is a way out. And a way onto the streets of Crown Heart. I would tell Morgane. If he said that he was going outside, it would probably be the streets. I'd probably want to get out of the hall. But I don't know. But are we trying to find him or are we trying to find Forvana? What's more important? No, Morgane, who are these people you're looking for? Well, person, because one's... Who is this kiosk? I would appreciate your confidentiality in the matter, but they are escapees from the Dread Vault. <sighs> Kios was imprisoned for forbidden magic of a fifth level. Do they have a connection to Crown Heart Hall somehow, or a, a a grudge, or a how? Dread Vault for magic at the fifth level, just regular magic. No, not regular magic. Forbidden magic. Why did you come here? What, did you know that they were going to be here? We didn't know. But we thought they might be. Hmm. How long have they been in the Dread Vault? Uh, she would produce the long <laughs> parchment again mm -hmm. and begin to feel down. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> 34 blessings. Only 34 blessings. How long have they been out of the Dread Vault? Like how long ago did they escape? How long would they have been out? Um, it's, it's been, I think, uh, roughly about four weeks, five weeks. Mm. Mm. A blessing is a year, right? Yes, a blessing is a year. Yeah. Yeah. So is this the first place they came to? And if they'd only been in for 34 years, Favana's been here at least 100 I'm sorry, looks at Tack. I don't... Do we know... I'm Indrasa. Kios is um, at least a hundred years old. hundred years Okay. Y 
You said Forvana's been here for at least a hundred years. That's what I've been told. Blessings. Pretty odd. Blessings. Pretty odd. Thanks, man. <laughs> odd. Uh, I'm just trying to figure out the timing of when somebody would have made... I don't know. I guess it doesn't matter. I think if they... They couldn't have had something... There are a lot of things that could happen, could have happened, and now my brain is firing about all the things that could have happened. Did they know that the Ankeg was petrified? Did they try... It doesn't matter. We should find him, I think, and then we potentially find Fovana and our key well, and our way out. We first learned of Brava and Kios in Crownheart Hall. Okay before they were captured. We assumed they would come back. Would he be... He said we're in a bubble. Would he be able to leave the bubble? Do we know that? Or is he trapped here with us? If he's trapped here with us, we should pursue him first, correct? Everyone is trapped here at the moment until we find the key. So when you hide something and you have a key, there are several ways to get out of the bubble. You could destroy it. I don't know, you have a an egg and you smash it. That gets you out. You could take it to the barrier and cross out. That gets rid of it as well. So... When we're talking about a person, which is still a very new concept, we either find her and kill her, or find her and take her. So he's going to do one of those two things. If he wants to get out of the bubble, which I assume he would. So then, finding Forvana might also be what he's doing. She's the ticket out. The way I see it, Forvana is the most important thing right now. Mm. We seek Forvana, and either we find her or we find him. And there's a creepy elderly woman out there as well, apparently. No, I, I believe he was talking about the one in the hall. I hope so. We don't need another. Are we in the room with all the bodies missing brains? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Bia's going to look at you all and she's going to be like, Is this normal? No. You all have no reaction to this. It is definitely not. Oh, no, yeah, no, normal. it's not normal. I mean, I've seen plenty of horrifying stuff up north, so it doesn't really... I'm surprised it's not wicking more of you out there, to be honest. Can any of us guess as to what would be scooping brains out? Any kind of check we knew or, like... Um... Hey, did you know about this thing? <laughs> I mean, you could you could like, make a you could make a, a, a scoop and brain check, nature check, <laughs> or a arcana check um, mm. would also work. I'll do an I'll do an arcana check because I'm better at it. Twenty one. Nice. Nope. You um, don't know shit. <laughs> well, twenty one. Uh, I would tell you that you have uh, that there, there could be several things. Uh, aberrations in general are usually brain seekers. It's not just mind flares, but um, aberrations as a general concept are usually quite obsessed with intelligence and 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 sonic power or anything that can em emanates from the brain. So um, that's usually associated with it. But it could be something you've never encountered before as well. Aberrations are usually the the common go to for brain uh, extracting. When you 
create a false reality to hide whatever it is you're hiding or whatever you're doing. You can create safeguards, right? You can make traps, guardians, whatever. You can put whatever you want in it because it's fake. So that is decidedly not normal. And it could be a million things we have never imagined or something actually real that is also here. So there's not a good answer, unfortunately. Mm. Is there anything magical in this room, Joe? Um, or is it just uh, a canvas of guts? <laughs> yeah, there, there wouldn't necessarily <laughs> be anything magical I can think of uh, in the kitchens. Um, no, it would be it'd be mostly just kind of a smell and aroma that gets you first, mm. which isn't pleasant by any means. Well. Let's press on, shall we? Yes. Where are we going? The streets? Well, unless we have yeah, something so more narrow to look for right now. Where's the nearest exit? Points. Yeah, it's downward through the kitchens if you want to go out the seven exit. All right. Yep. Okay. I mean, Start walking that way then. Not in here. You would Karen go down the staircases, going deeper into them, into the actual like embedded portions of this uh, hill, um, and where kind of the lower portions of the servant quarters are. There's not very much living quarters down here necessarily. It's more kind of storage, um, and anywhere they'd keep like food crates and uh, and any any supplies like that. Um, you'd start walking over towards it's almost kind of almost like a service entrance. This kind of gate at the far end, uh, past the doorway. Um, the doorway's kind of like hanging off the hinge slightly. And you can see the gate's kind of buckled. That's one kind of almost tore through it. Um, but it leads out into the streets where you can hear kind of the shouts and the screams uh, of people you heading outside. Yeah. Okay. Journeying out onto the actual street itself, you would immediately see as a few buildings in the distance of a flame burning up uh you can hear crashing and sounds of people screaming and fighting you see one house in the distance with a shadow looming on it similar to that humanoid creature that you saw previously the all the humanoid like broken humanoid the otherworldly creature is kind of skulking on the rooftop and begins like plummeting its way into the ceiling of a house and like dives in you see the shadow disappear off to your left, as you've kind of come out of here, you can see the marketplace. This is below where you were on the balcony um, before tack. And you can kind of now smell the foods which have kind of been pushed over, but their aroma and the heat of them has kind of died down from their flames not being tempered and the fresh food not being cooked now for a good 15, 20 minutes, maybe a little bit longer. At the far end of the street, you can see a couple hiding. A tiefling and a gnome are kind of hiding behind this this crate, and they're looking for a chance to run down an alleyway. You're you're on like an offshoot around the side of the like a the kind of wall of this uh, this castle where it leads up onto the hill. And in the marketplace, a couple of the stools overturned, you can see large bulbous kind of like palish pinkish kind of form, like skin. These almost great big creatures, legs kind of out, maybe the size of like large boars at this point. Their mouth and teeth and their hands almost kind of humanoid like in their sense. They're kind of dragging up and munching on this brain in front of them, kind of pulling between them. You can see the blood kind of splatter between them. Two of them, as one pulls back and swallows the brain, you can see on its back a deepish pink, kind of almost wart appears and as you can see the the brain is just beneath the translucent skin and <laughs> as it starts consuming the intelligence and you hear it say in a voice very unfitting of this creature that one was mine you can have the other you hear a woman's voice come out of this other creature 
I don't want that one. It was... It lacked knowledge. I want another. Find where they keep them. What does your brain know? It knows the location of a library in town. This is where they keep books. They study magic. They'd be more intelligent. <laughs> they hear as a barrel kind of falls over, and the tiefling rumors begin to run, they <laughs> turn. <laughs> Prepare. And they're about to engage a chase. And that's what we're in tonight's episode before we dive into anything more on the streets Gross. of Crown Heart Hall. Um, I'll show you the map because why not? Hey. Yeah, I'm prepared for next week. Uh, as you kind of see this burning building, it's not too far away from you. The gate you kind of come out was near, but nearby the markets. Um, and you can see, uh, let me bring you over to here. Uh, these creatures right in the center. Uh, right here. Oh, that's still blocking it. Hold on. Mm-hmm. Uh, and this is what you'll be fighting next week, if you so will it. You can also just let them chase down the people on the kind of southern alleyway, um, hiding behind barrels. And you're kind of coming up the, the top right here. Um, but these creatures right here in the center. So, that's what we'll come back to next week. Cool. Not okay. at all gross. Yeah. No. <laughs> um... All right. Well, thank you, everyone, for playing. As per usual, we're in the episode there just because another fight would probably take a long time. Um, <laughs> and then you can begin your hunt for Kios to discover what has been going on here. I know it's all kind of riddles and mystery right now, but it will become clear soon. Um, before we move on to shout outs and whatnot, uh, I said at the beginning of the episode I would do a little bit of a uh, a fan heart, fan <laughs> heart. Fan yeah. Fan heart. Uh, it's fan heart. Fan Sorry, it's canon. Fan heart hall. Fan heart. Fits with the body horror theme, I guess. Yeah, it does. Uh huh. Um. Okay. Let me. Uh. Let me go to this one. Uh. And then I'll capture for you guys in this channel. Our screen. So uh, we do have a Discord uh, chat and inside that Discord. Um, you can post any fan art you've drawn up. Uh, we've already had a, several pieces come in, and I wanted to kind of like something that I wanted to do was start actually showing off the fan art that comes through. Uh, oh god, it's going to push all. I just didn't think about that. It's going to push all your cameras a little bit aside. So let me just see if I can fix that. <laughs> That's okay. Uh, it's yeah. whatever. It's our it's first whatever. time. Yeah, it can be wonky. Um, actually, do you know what? I'll, if you guys want to follow the stream, I'll just do it that way for you guys. Yeah, that's that fine. That's, that's, that's easier. Fine. So people can see ya. Faces. Yeah, yeah, All right. yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, let me bring up some of the fan art. Uh, I'm just gonna change the music to a more jolly tune. Um, <laughs> Thanks. That would be nice. Oh, uh, let's do this one. Okay. Uh, let me start bringing up some of the fan art. Yeah. Uh, uh, if you, so you turn on the streams, I'll go to the channel. Um, <laughs> I've got a moth that keeps flying around my face. It's me. It's V. <gasps> it's me. It's me. Oh. <laughs> Dude, the fucking lightning outside is insane. Uh, Spooky. It's cool though, right? It's really cool, atmospheric. Uh, I can Very see... thematic, yeah. Uh, so uh, the first one up, we had. Um, oh, I can't see the names of the people because I've got stream mode on. Let me disable it. There you go. Cuzrain uh, drew Sentry and the Shadow. Yeah. Which is sick. So cool. Uh, from the history. Of... Those are our first so one. Cool. It's so cool. Yeah, yeah it's, it's awesome so to good. see the history kind of brought in. Uh, for those who don't know, this is the angel that got dragged down by Sentry. Um, Suffering Gob. Sorry about that, Angel. Draw more game. <laughs> um, yeah. Oh, hell yeah. Which is yeah. awesome, based off nice. the official art Great. by Amanda, which here Sick. goes. The official art for those who didn't have a proper look. Uh, super fucking cool. So detailed. And she's now in the armor so again. Cool. Uh, Yay! Which is really cool. Yes. The armor is so good. Uh, it's so, so pretty. good. Another so one by pretty. Gob. We had our wonderful Carlisle. Yeah. yeah. The kind boy. Of man. Looks like a dad. The boy. <laughs> he has big dad, dad like vibes. Yeah. <laughs> big dad vibes. I'm a more game by Gob. <laughs> uh, I haven't oh, looked through yeah. these yet. These are cool. Uh, nice. TJ gave us uh, our first of um, V. I need this. Cute. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> yeah, so good. So good. 
Uh, I love it. Tentaco, first time artist here, uh, made us Desmond. A cowboy, afraid of nothing, shooter. Cute. <laughs> He's yeah. a good boy. So cute. And then Orion gave us our Man. first group shot, which is awesome. Little cute version of all of you guys. Uh, I love so that. cute. Which technically so now. So cute. I love it so much. Oh, it's fine. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah. I, there's no attack hey, there. Also, now. can you do a new one? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Also, fix it, please. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the official art by Mariah of our wonderful Carlisle as well. Which is mm -hmm. awesome. Oh, hell yeah. Yeah. It's so, so good. I love yeah, the Ivy Insane. Stabbing stuff. Uh, okay. We've got the, the other official arts here. Um, in Drasa as well, with the background Mama. now you can see, which is cool oh, as fuck. Oh, look at her. Super Looks so cool. cool. Um, another Manda piece for Bree's character V, where you can see all of the different designs and concept arts of it, which is cool as fuck. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh my god. That sword is <laughs> fucking awesome. Very the cool sword. sword. Is insane. <laughs> yeah. It is insane. It's, it's amazing. <gasps> That's why I felt yeah, so bad when I was like, it. I'm taking it away from you for the first battle. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, uh, no. <laughs> Desmond by Lawfy. Yeah. Super cool. Yes. God. He's so Love cool him. and brave. He's so He's cool so and brave. brave. He's so cool. So and cool he and got brave. the killing blow on that huge that thing. Course. That was crazy. <laughs> uh, Zonia by Manda. Uh, our first little fake out. Oh, uh, Zonia. Yeah. Yeah. False God. <laughs> Fawn also drew uh, Fawn Cargo drew Zonya as well. Um, oh, SMH. I love it. It's so cute, but so cute. Zonya so betray. Yeah. <laughs> it's such Just a good story. A, it's I love that it. meme of like so and so is not my friend anymore. You know, like now my yeah name friendship friend. ended with Zonya. Yeah, friendship and Zonya over. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> exactly. Uh, Fawn also drew in Drasa. Exactly. Lady yes, so good. Um, Whoa, so cool. Diego Smile. with a 3D <laughs> model mini of Carlisle, the beginnings of Carlisle there. Oh, hell Ooh, yeah. Ooh, that's cool. That's really good. <laughs> so Fawn also drew uh, Carlisle. <laughs> I love the insane energy in this one. Yes. I know which yeah. one, yeah. As you were bringing it up, I was I like, I know which one it, it is. The Nigel Thornberry, dude. Yeah, that's yeah. what I said. I said it was like Nigel Thornberry. You say, instead of smash, you need to say like, healing. <laughs> uh, Killian came in with a like a 3D model version of Sculpt of uh, V, based on her for short. Uh, that's work in so progress. Good. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. So fucking Insane. cool. I'm so excited to see that. And then I think. She's bald! <laughs> and then here's the official uh, Manda art for TAC uh, revealed today. Oh. A full tack. I love, Super I love cool. them so much. Yay! Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> Brie put their characters what? together. Yeah, I don't know what you're talking <laughs> about. Are you going to put that, put that art out? Show what everybody. Are you talking about? Show them all. They just look really good together, okay? I'm just saying. <laughs> oh, and TJ drew TAC as well, which looks really fucking cool. Yeah. Yeah. That's really cool. I love the art. Sam, you're muted. Yeah, FYI. Sam, you're muted. Oh, that's so good. Just, just for... cackling a Brie because she's a psycho and she's <laughs> putting something together. True. <laughs> Listen, the themes of like all white and all black, it's very cool. Okay? That's me. You didn't, even, you didn't even do it well. Like, yeah. Kill 5'2 no, and Tax 5'10. Right. You didn't get the sizing <laughs> I right. I know. Though. I didn't get the sizing yeah, right. I didn't, know, I didn't know that's the true. height yet. You got to cut down to just the hair sticking out. I'll shrink her. Hold on. Me do. I'll shrink V. Hold on. I'll do it right now. Thank you to all the artists. We really appreciate it. I'll go ahead every like couple of weeks oh we're showing a new art we get um on the stream at the end like that because i know people were, were hoping for that yeah. god forge so we can finally start doing it here uh it's very simple to do um but otherwise uh thanks everyone for playing thanks everyone for watching um that's the wrap-up of episode two we'll do our shout outs um i'll start with uh dodge it and go around this way Sure. Uh, hi, everybody. I'm Dodger. You can find me at Dexmas on pretty much everything. Uh, I also have a coffee company. If you like coffee, you should check out Dodger Coffee Co. That's true. And um, yeah, uh, I'm sorry for the ruse, but it was very fun. It was great. <laughs> it was, it was so good. good. It was and so funny bored. again, the way you messaged me, like, I have to keep this up for an entire week now. People just message me, like, oh, I love Zanya. And you're like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I literally, literally I did it. Love her too. I just stream yeah. with Dodger and I was like, Zonia's so cool. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> I was like, she is cool, isn't she? 
awesome. um, you'll see there's yeah. a lot of really cool stuff with uh with changelings uh really really cool stuff that, that dodger and i've kind of conjured together but mostly dodger's mine um sam oh, yeah hey uh, if you're watching the VOD, are you uh, doing bingo this week? You might have noticed that uh, mm. the middle space says subscribe to Joe Fudge, which you should totally do because he deserves the support. Uh, so if you, whether Very you need sweet. the bingo or not, you should just you should just do that. Oh, we can also That's look at the bingo as well. Um, as of as of like next week onwards, we'll do it. Um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Start checking them if they come regularly in. Uh, that's very sweet, but twitch.tv slash dripping. Go and check them out, everybody. Tomato. Come on. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah. Come yeah. Brie Bun. <laughs> I'm Brie Bun. I'm a very streamer. Sorry, dude. Yay. Yay. <laughs> Yay. What are you playing at the moment? I'm in between games. I'm kind of doing Starfield, but not really. <laughs> but uh, why are you laughing? Just, I'm in between games. Yeah, that's what we were saying about jobs, so right? fucking funny to me. Yeah. It's like I'm in between jobs. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. I'm in between games right now, but... Um... <laughs> I have a lot of options. Oh, yeah, you know, know, there's a lot. I actually think I'm going to replay my favorite game in the world, Outer Wilds, at the end of this month on stream. Oh, oh nice. Yeah. That'll be fun. Good pick, good yeah. Pick. Shane. Hi, I'm Shane. Um... I made so many secret uh, wisdom saving throw rolls with my actual oh, dice during that session Amazing. to see uh, things would happen. Love that. They never, I never failed one, so yet. Oh, uh, that's cool. Uh, Maybe? Uh, but I'm Shane. Um, I've been actually uh, streaming the Might and Magic series recently, yeah, which some awesome. people might know. Nice. Might not. Yeah. <laughs> that's Dude, super I love old. that shit. Super it's nostalgic. Really old, it's been right? super yeah. fun. I was playing it with my brother. They made a multiplayer mod, and it's been kick ass. Oh, really? So, that's sick. Yeah, that's uh, what I've been doing. Thank you, bud. OG, Chrissy. Hello, I'm OLG. Sometimes I stream stuff. Sometimes I tweet, post, whatever the fuck it's called now. Stuff. No, you just keep going. Old gamer. Yeah, I'm never. I, yeah. I'm not. I can't change. I'm old. Yeah. It's literally in my name. I, I can't. <laughs> it, yeah, I I got nothing. I can't even finish this because I'm so old. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're slowly fading into tomato <laughs> shouts. Um, <laughs> it's soon just going to be yeah. like going through you guys. Just, just, come, on, more, come on, come on, yeah. come on, come on. I use about a hundred more words for the exact same. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's true. Yeah. It's true. It's true. Yeah. Um, all right, today everyone here, uh, you can find me on this channel. We'll be back next week. There is a Patreon if you're uh, if you're interested in it and see behind the scenes stuff. Otherwise, um, join us next week for the kind of final part of the prologue for Sunforged uh, before they kind of get out into the world to pursue the stories themselves. I did say at the beginning of the stream, these first few episodes are much darker uh, and less comedy less less comedy than we usually do. But, you know, after that, we'll be getting into our traditional D&D soon. Um, just very dark, gothic vibes at the moment. Uh, so if you're worried Wait, about the body horror I'm stuff, sorry. don't worry, it won't be every episode. <laughs> yes? I have a question about the episode. Uh, was that little hairy dude like the self insert for you of like what the fuck? Oh my god, comedy <laughs> of like yeah, his ass, yeah, his ass. Oh my god, I'm not god, done. Dude. Get him. I'm not no. done. Blood, blood, blood. Because I'm not done. Yeah, I'm not done. Everybody in chat, I saw it. They were like, Turk, Turk. Everybody was freaking out. No, technically. Did, was he inspired by Turk? Who was first is all I want to know. Was Turk technically, first no, or was like, no, did no. you have that race first? This race first. If you remember in our, in our, um, yeah, I don't yeah, know. I in our Sunforge chat. Yeah, there was a bunch of races that I said, hey, you can play any of these of races. And that, until recently, that was called Hairball with Eyes. Um, and I remember <laughs> no, Dodger. I do remember yeah, that. Yeah, I, I remember Dodger at the that, time was like, yeah. I've got an idea for my character, yes. but I really am tempted by hairball with eyes. <laughs> and I was like, oh. I was like, do it. <laughs> yeah, I do remember that now. Yeah. Okay, well, now chat knows. Yeah, it's true. There you go. Um, that was months ago. Uh, okay, well, thanks everyone for coming by. We'll see you next week for episode three, the final one of the prologue of the Sunforge campaign. Otherwise, much love to you. Really appreciate it. See you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>